At present, it has been negotiated with Shang Jiwen. His three restaurants and five bars, including the property and land, are priced at 73 million. In addition, land for large and small properties in five streets, including Onli, Wellington Street, Wyndham Street, Yinsho Lane, and Wing Wa Lane, have been basically negotiated. If we want to acquire the land and properties in these streets, I am afraid it will cost more than 1 billion. Looking at Jiang Feng, Chen Furong said happily. It took her and the company's acquisition team nearly a month to negotiate the owners of these properties. Thanks for your hard work. Zhang Feng nodded slightly and said. He has been to Long Kwai Fong. There are a few streets in front and back. There must be at least nearly a hundred large and small properties. It is not that easy to talk about these. Easy. Fortunately, I mainly inspected and recorded, and most of the negotiations were conducted by a professional negotiation team. Chin Ferong said with a relaxed expression, Brother Fong, are you planning to buy that place in Long Kwai Fong? Li Jiusin, who was watching TV, turned around and asked in surprise after hearing the conversation between the two. She knew that that place was a famous white-collar nightclub in Xiangjiang. Many TVB artists would go there from time to time. The cost is quite high. On average, it costs about 700 to 800 Hong Kong dollars per person. Um, Jiang. Feng responded. Then he looked at Chun Furong and said, In this case, I will tell He Chengzhou tomorrow to acquire it in the name of Blue Mountain Group. Since the Lan Kwai Fong model is copied to the mainland, it is inseparable from the Blue Mountain Group. After all, the Blue Mountain Group is Jiang Feng's main real estate business. Let the Blue Mountain Group acquire it. In this way, in the future, the Blue Mountain Group can be directly engaged in the real estate business. When developing real estate and building commercial complexes in the mainland, Sean can learn from or copy the model and operate bar streets in the mainland. Good. Chun Ferong nodded lightly. Brother Fong, can we go there and play in the future? Wan Chiwen blinked with excitement in his eyes. What? You like going to bars? Zhang Fong looked at Wan Chiwen with a half smile. Neither. I just heard it's fun there. You. Zhang. Feng flicked Wan Chiwen's forehead and said, That place is very messy, so don't go there. Long Kwai Fong is fun. It's for men, or for immoral women. If it weren't for the consumption power of this place and its ability to boost the sales of Blue Mountain liquor, Zhang Feng would not bother to acquire it. After all, this kind of bar scene has a lot of disputes. It is easy for fights, fights, and the like to happen. Hearing that Zhang Feng refused to go, Wan Chiwen was a little disappointed and nodded without saying anything. Zhang Feng saw this and thought for a moment. If you really want to take a look, wait until the company acquires it, so you don't have to worry about safety. After acquiring Lan Kwai Fong Bar Street, Zhang Feng plans to let people from Umbrella settle in and take charge of the security issues of several streets. It can be regarded as providing a source of income for Umbrella Company, killing multiple birds with one stone. Thank you, Brother Feng. Wan Chiwen happily kissed Jiang Feng. Jiang Feng smiled. He watched TV for a while and chatted for a while. Seeing that it was getting late, he took a rest. The next day, morning, half past eight. Central. Deverod. Happy time, coffee shop. How about it? Why haven't the invited reporters arrived yet? Lee. Justin looked at the time on her watch and said with a frown. Seeing that she was anxious, Wan Chiwen patted her shoulder lightly and comforted her. Don't be anxious. We already took care of things yesterday and should be here soon. Coming, coming. Chin Ferong pointed and said. Hearing the sound, Li Jiusin quickly looked over. He saw three people holding cameras and signs hanging on their chests. One of the women also held a microphone and ran over quickly. Li Jiusin saw this. She breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, a reporter came. She was just worried. How would she do this marketing if no reporters came? Look, seven or eight more people are coming down over there. Lee Jusin looked over. She saw a news truck with New World Daily printed on it parked on the road, and several people got out. Maybe it was a good start. In the next two or three minutes, people appeared one after another. Seven or eight newspapers. Even the Oriental newspaper, which had always been at odds with Jiang Feng, came. Now, Lee Jusin was completely relieved. All that was left was to wait for the guests to arrive. Time passed minute by minute. At 8.40 at 5 o'clock, 
there were suddenly more luxury cars outside the coffee shop. Look, is that Nye Xiaoqian? Shit, what's Nye Xiaoqian? Her name is Wang Zuxian. What is Wang Zuxian doing here? When the reporters heard the sound, they turned their heads one after another. After seeing that it was really Wang Zuxian, they excitedly pressed the shutter button. Damn it, it's really Wang Zuxian. Great news, I didn't expect to meet her here. She was so big. No wonder the editor asked me to come over quickly. It turns out there is a big fish. Li Jiusen, who was standing at the door, also heard the shouts of the crowd. Standing in front of the threshold, Wang Zuxian, who was tightly wrapped in a black coat and wearing sunglasses on his head, was followed by two people, holding a flower basket. Jiusen, I wish you good luck with your business. Wang Zuxian took off his sunglasses, smiled and hugged Li Jiusen. The scene of the two hugging was photographed by reporters. Thanks. Li Jiusen was very happy to see Wang Zuxian coming. The two had a good relationship when they filmed A Chinese Ghost Story 2 together, and they still keep in touch now. Isn't Brother Zhang here? Wang. Zuxian asked with a smile. He hasn't come yet. It's probably coming soon. With that said, Li Jiusen took Wang Zuxian's hand and introduced them to Wan Qiwen and Chen Furong. This is Chen Furong my good sister, and one of the shareholders of the store. This is Wan Qiwen, my good sister, and one of the shareholders of the store. Wang Zuxian smiled and said, I know these two. They are Mr. Zhang's assistant and secretary. I have met them before. The two women smiled when they heard this, stretched out their hands and shook hands with Wang Zuxian. Yes, I almost forgot. You both work in the same building and have the same boss, so of course you know each other. Li Jiusen said with sudden realization. At this time, there was a louder noise. The four women looked over. They saw Zhang Guerong, Zhou Ruanxi, and Zhong Shishuan walking over. Fa Gu and Hong Gu are here too? Wang Zuxian was slightly surprised, turned to Li Jiusen, and said with a smile, Ashin, you are so proud. Even Hong Gu and Fa Gu are here. I didn't invite you. Ah? Uh, Li. Jiusen smiled bitterly and said, I don't even know Hong Gu or F.A. Gu. I don't know why they are here. Could it be? Two words popped up in Wang Zuxian's mind. I'm afraid. Only he has such a method. Ah, Xian, I wish you a happy opening of your coffee shop. Zhang Guarong came over first and congratulated. Thanks. Ain is here too, long time no see. After saying hello to Li Jiusen, Zhang Guarong saw that Wang Zuxian was also there and quickly said hello. Hello, Miss Lee. You won't mind if we come uninvited. Zhou Ruanxi joked. Brother F.A. was joking. I was too late to be happy. I.F.A. would make fun of us girls. Zhong. Shishuan smiled and stretched out his hand. Miss Lee, I wish you good luck with the opening of your coffee shop. Thank you, Sister Hong. After speaking, Lee Justin said quickly, Everyone please come in. The four of them smiled and walked into the coffee shop. The reporters outside were even more excited and excited. She is indeed the most beautiful Hong Kong sister. Open a coffee shop and even Wang Zuxian, Hong Gu, Zhou Ruanxi, and Zhang Guorong are here. This is probably the most star-studded coffee shop. Yes. Unexpectedly, a small cafe opening ceremony. To be able to see them, it's really a worthwhile trip. Haha, <laughs> fortunately I came. If I didn't come... Wouldn't I have missed this headline information? Yep. Perhaps Zhou Ruanxi and Zhang Guorong made a good start. Hong Jingbao took Hong Jiabon with him. Shi Nanxing, Su Ku, and other new world artists appeared. It's impossible not to show up. This is the boss of the company, the real girlfriend in name only. If this future boss lady catches her eye, will she still want to hang out in the future? What's more, this store. The other two shareholders are both confidants of the big boss. Almost all the artists and directors from New World Film Company appeared. The following guests were all celebrities. The opening ceremony of the small coffee shop was called the Avenue of Stars. The reporters were so excited that they kept taking pictures. Damn it, the film is gone. A reporter cursed, then glanced at his colleagues with envy. He wished he could grab the camera and use it himself. If the appearance of celebrities shocked many people at the energy of this small cafe, then with Sunway, the appearance of He Qingzhou, Fang Yihua, and other business people completely made the reporters and the surrounding crowd excited. Today, Sunway, 
with the listing of Master Kong Group, has a net worth of 2 billion Hong Kong dollars. Young and beautiful, she has become the star of countless people in Hong Kong. Young men want people to date. There are many rich second generations among them. And Sing Tao News, Oriental News even selected the most powerful and wealthy women in the business world of the year. Sun Wei ranked second because she was less than 27 years old, worth 2 billion Hong Kong dollars, vice chairman and CEO of Master Kong Group, and many other honors. Second only to Gong Rushin of Chinachim Group. Of course, if you choose the most powerful female professional manager, there is no doubt that Sun Wei tops the list. It can be said that the fashion and media circles pay more attention to Sun Wei than Zhang Feng. Of course, Zhang Feng deliberately kept a low profile, rarely attends and refuses various banquets and entertainment. Mr. Sun, Mr. He. After seeing Sun Wei and He Chengzhou coming, Wan Qiwen and Chun Farong's eyes lit up and they hurried forward to greet them. Congratulations, you will now have a place to drink coffee in the company. This is a gift and I wish you both good luck opening your coffee shop. Looking at the congratulatory gift, Wan Qiwen and Chen Farong did not refuse it. It was a bit unlucky to refuse it because it was auspicious for the opening of the business. Anyway, it was not a valuable item. They asked people to take the gift in. Secretary Wan, is the boss here? Son, Wei asked with a smile. Still not here. However, it should be coming soon. Looking at Sun Wei, Wan Qiwen said with a smile. Sun Wei nodded slightly. He looked at Li Jiusin who was chatting with Fang Ihua, and his eyes moved slightly. Li Jiusin, who was feeling something, turned around subconsciously. Just right. Two. The eyes crossed together. Sparks burst out. Sun Wei took the lead in retracting her eyes and smiled calmly. Mr. Sun and Mr. He, please come in. Wan Qiwen, who noticed that the atmosphere was a little tense, smoothed things over and said to the two of them with a smile. Good. He Changzhou smiled and said to Sun Wei, Mr. Sun, please. Sun Wei said, Mr. He, please. The two exchanged polite words and then walked in together. Li Jiusin, who had finished greeting Fang Yihua, quietly came to Wan Qi Tattoo and said, On, the Mr. Sun who just communicated with you is Sun Wei from Master Kong Group? Yes. Wan Qiwen nodded, as if remembering something, and asked, By the way, what happened to you just now? It feels like something is wrong between you two. Li Jiusin's face was calm, and there was no sign of any disturbance. He didn't ask any questions. Time passed by minute by minute. Just when it was two minutes away from nine o'clock, there were black Mercedes Benz one, six in total, coupled with the Asia Dragon one in the middle. Such a luxurious fleet, but it is rarely seen. A group of reporters, as well as the surrounding crowd, turned their heads and looked at it. Such a big battle couldn't be Jiang Feng, right? Probably. It is said that Li Jiusin is his woman. If it is true, then it is very likely that the person sitting in this car is Jiang Feng. Hiss. He deserves to be the richest man in Hong Kong, with such pomp and momentum. I'm afraid the governor of Hong Kong is not that big a person, right? Damn it. Li Jiusin is so lucky. I became a Hong Kong sister and now I have become the wife of the richest man in the blink of an eye. There is no need to talk about this fate in life. If you have her looks, you can do it too. First of all, the reporter who ran out of film because of his crazy shooting of celebrities was struggling. When he heard that the big shot was probably Zhang Feng, his face suddenly became sad. Brother, can we discuss something? He stepped forward and patted a reporter on the shoulder. What's up? The male reporter with eyes licked his chapped lips and said, Um, can you send me some photos later? These are the last few. Seeing the other party's unkind expression, the male reporter with eyes quickly added, Don't worry, I'll pay. After hearing that he had to pay, the reporter's face became a little better and asked, How much? 200 yuan. 200 yuan. Just want photos? Send away the beggars. Get out of here. Don't get in my way. After saying that, he glared at the man with eyes. Boom, boom, boom. At this moment, there was a commotion. The crowd even shouted, Mr. Jiang. The two looked sideways. Sure enough, they saw Jiang Feng getting out of the car with the odd-numbered license plate number 9. A group of bodyguards were guarding both sides. Hearing the crowd's calls, Jiang Feng waved politely. 
He waved his hand and said hello to the crowd. His gentlemanly demeanor won the favor of many people. Many young women in the crowd shouted Jiang Feng's name. The sound was loud and sharp. Even coffee you can hear it in the hall. Let's go. The boss is here. He Chengzhou said with a smile. At the same table with him were Sun Wei and Shen Nansheng. Sun Wei nodded slightly, got up and walked outside first. He Chengzhou and Shen Nansheng followed closely behind. In the coffee shop, other celebrities and business people also followed. Go out. You are finally here. After seeing Jiang Feng arrive in the last ten seconds, Li Jiusen finally breathed a sigh of relief. She was really afraid that Jiang Feng wouldn't be able to make it. In this case, the auspicious ribbon cutting would be delayed. Jiang Feng laughed. He smiled and said, I encountered a traffic jam on the road, but luckily I got there. Waving his hand, a bodyguard behind him came in carrying a box. This is. Wan Chiwen and Chun Furong looked over curiously. Jiang Feng grinned and said, It's opening today, so I need to give you some gifts. This is the lucky pig that I specially found someone to create. Although it doesn't quite match the atmosphere of a coffee shop, it still has to be a good luck mascot. When the three girls heard this, they nodded happily. In fact, as long as Jiang Feng comes, they will be happy even if he doesn't give him anything. After all, they are a family, and it doesn't matter whether they have gifts or not. Boss, Mr. Jiang, Mr. Jiang. At this time, Sun Wei and others, as well as Wang Zuxian and other celebrities came out and greeted Jiang Feng politely. Jiang Feng nodded and said hello with a smile. Okay, the auspicious time has arrived and it's time to start cutting the ribbon. As the voice fell, several etiquette ladies took long flowers made of red cloth and a few pairs of scissors. They handed them to Li Jiusen, Wan Qiwen, Chun Furong and others. Of course, Jiang Feng also had a pair of scissors, lined up in a horizontal line. Reporters focus their cameras on this side. Three, two, one. Bang, bang, bang. Several fireworks tubes sounded. The ribbon cutting ceremony ended successfully. With the end of the ribbon cutting ceremony, happy time, cafe was officially opened. In order to thank the friends and distinguished guests who came, Lee Justin booked a banquet at a nearby hotel in advance. After it was over, he invited everyone. Cheng Zhou, have you heard about what happened in Long Kwai Fong? In the hotel box, Jiang Feng drank a glass of water and looked at He Chengzhou opposite with a smile. He Chengzhou nodded lightly. I heard, Assistant Chun told me just now. But boss, according to evaluation calculations, this acquisition may cost more than one billion, which may have a certain impact on the company's cash flow. Oh, the company is out of money? I remember last month. Didn't the company say it still had more than 3 billion? Why is there no money? Looking at He Chengzhou, Jiang Feng asked the doubts in his heart. Boss, you forgot one thing. He Chengzhou smiled bitterly and said, Didn't I buy an office building recently? No, we just negotiated with a real estate company to buy the Jianya building for 1.6 billion. Oh, Jiang Feng nodded. In this way, spending another billion to buy Lan Kwai Fong will indeed cause tight cash flow. However, even if the capital chain is tight, he wants to buy it too. In this way, you buy first, and if you are really short of funds, I will inject funds. Zhang Feng said calmly. Good. With Zhang Feng's words, he doesn't have to worry anymore. In fact, with Blue Mountain's profitability, it only takes more than a month to have sufficient funds in the account. However, the Chinese New Year is coming soon and the company's employee funds and rewards will be there are also settlements for cooperative companies, etc. There are too many places where money is needed. He, Chengzhou is worried that the capital chain will be broken. As for Long Kwai Fong, he also agrees with the acquisition. That place is a good place for drinking and drinking, so buy it over. It will undoubtedly play a big role in the sales of Blue Mountain Liquor. After the luncheon, He Chengzhou left first because he wanted to acquire Long Kwai Fong. Shernanshing and Sunway also left for their own business. Soon, in the box, only four people, including Jiang Feng and Wan Qiwen, are left. Are you two going back to the company or going to the coffee shop? After wiping the stains on the corner of his mouth with a tissue, Jiang Feng looked at Wan Qiwen and Chen Furong. Chen Furong said, I have to go to Lan Kwai Fong later, and I have made an appointment with Mr. He. 
Jiang, Feng nodded and turned to Wan Qiwen. What about you? Wan Qiwen looked at him and then at Li Jiaxin, obviously a little embarrassed. You can stay here today. There is nothing to do in the company anyway. Seeing this, Jiang Feng smiled. Wan Qiwen nodded. Then let's go. Seeing that the three women had stopped eating, Jiang Feng stood up and said. After leaving the restaurant, he asked the bodyguards to take the three women back to the coffee shop. Mr. Jiang. Jiang Feng, who was about to get in the car, heard shouting from behind. He turned around and saw Wang Zuxian and smiled slightly. Miss Wang has something to do. Wang. Zuxian blushed and said, You helped me rescue my parents last time. I haven't thanked you yet. I want to treat you to afternoon tea. Jiang. Feng raised his eyebrows and joked, Isn't your thank you too cheap? It's just afternoon tea? Well, Wang Zuxian was stunned. Seeing the smile in his eyes, I understood that he was joking. I can also treat you to a big meal, but you can't bear it. After saying that, there was still a hint of provocation in his eyes. Zhang Feng nodded slightly. I really can't eat anymore. His eyes fell on Wang Zuxian's delicate and fair face. Okay, I'll go have afternoon tea as you said. After Zhang Feng said that invite Wang Zuxian to get on the bus, the latter blushed and hesitated for a moment then followed Jiang Feng into the car. In fact, she wanted to say that she drove the car herself. But it was hard to refuse Jiang Feng. After all, the other party helped him many times before and after. I had to secretly think about it, and then come back and drive after having afternoon tea. Soon, the motorcade slowly left the restaurant and got into the car. Seeing that Wang Zuxian was a little nervous, Jiang Feng couldn't help but find a topic and said, Is Miss Wang from Wan Wan? Mm. Wang Zuxian responded, You've been in Wan Wan for almost six years, right? Wang Zuxian nodded, It will be six years and three months. Jiang. Feng's greetings relieved Wang Zuxian's nervousness. By the way, no one will harass your family anymore, right? Wang Zuxian shook his head. No more? Since that time, there has been no more? Um, if you need anything in the future, you can come to me. Jiang Feng showed a gentle smile stretched out his hand and grabbed Wang Zuxian's left hand. Wang Zuxian's neck was slightly red, and he struggled slightly. Seeing that he couldn't pull it back, he let Jiang Feng hold on. But his ears and cheeks were all red. Look. Looking at the shy Wang Zuxian, Jiang Feng smiled. I'm going to Wan Wan in two days. Do you want to go back and have a look? Jiang. Feng asked. Hearing Jiang Feng's question, Wang Zuxian blinked and looked in surprise. You want Wan Wan? Well, there are some things that need to be dealt with over there. Jiang. Feng smiled and nodded. Then, he turned to Wang Zuxian and said, How is it? Do you want to come together? It just so happens that I lack a tour guide. This? Wang Zuxian was a little embarrassed. She wanted to go back and see her grandpa. I didn't even have time to go back last year. But, her scene hasn't been finished yet. If I leave it this time. Seeing this, Jiang Feng said, if it's inconvenient for you, it's okay. We can do it another day. Wang Zuxian shook his head and explained, No, I want to go back and have a look, but my movie hasn't been finished yet. Company drama? Jiang Feng asked. Wang Zuxian nodded, Yes. In this case, if you ask the director for three days off, it shouldn't delay the process. With that said, Jiang Feng took out his wireless phone and called Shernansheng. After the call was connected, Jiang Feng said directly, Mr. Sure, it's me, Jiang Feng. This, Zhu Xian is going to take three days off and go back to Wan Wan. You can tell the director and let him shoot other things first. Um, right, yes, just three days good. After hanging up the phone, Jiang Feng smiled and said to Wang Zhu Xian, Okay, done. Wang Zhu Xian laughed dumbly. There was no displeasure in his heart about Jiang Feng's suggestion to help her make a decision. On the contrary, he was very happy. He casually found a good grade and elegant tea room, chatting and laughing with her. After staying there for more than half an hour, Zhang Feng proposed to watch a movie. Wang Zuxian hesitated for a moment, but did not object. He came to his cinema. He glanced at Yang Jiaming, who found the cinema manager and revealed his identity. He went directly to a small private cinema. After listening to Zhang Feng's views on cinemas, Jiang Jiqiang transformed the cinema hall under the New World Cinema chain. 
The original single hall was changed to multiple small halls. This way, he can accommodate more people every day. Screening several movies can also avoid the waste of resources. In addition, after changing to a multiplex room, a new concession stand has been added. The next step is to add a billiards room, cafe, electronic game consoles, and other entertainment into one. Add operating income of theaters. Avoid relying solely on movie tickets to make money. After waiting for a long time, Wang Zuxian didn't see anyone else coming. He couldn't help but asked curiously, is there no one watching movies at this time? Why are there only two of us? He smiled, and Jiang Feng said, I guess they are all at work. That's it. That's good. The two of us have reserved the venue. Puff. Wang Zuxian couldn't help but laugh. However, there was no time to cover his mouth. Accidentally slapped Jiang Feng in the face. Excuse me. Seeing this, Wang Zuxian quickly took out a tissue from his bag and helped Jiang Feng wipe it. Zhang Feng smiled and said generously, It's okay. He looked at Wang Zuxian who was wiping carefully, just in time to meet Wang Zuxian's big eyes. The latter's eyes dodge. I want to withdraw my hand. Zhang Feng was faster and gently held Wang Zuxian's hand. At this time, the lights in the theater went out and the movie officially started. Wang Zuxian whipped it a few times, but when he couldn't pull it back, he let Zhang Feng hold it. Although the two of them didn't speak, the movie is playing, but neither of them had their minds on the movie. Wang Zuxian was even more nervous. The whole body was tense. Half an hour later, seeing that Jiang Feng really just wanted to hold her hand and had no other thoughts, Wang Zuxian breathed a sigh of relief and was secretly glad. At the same time, I also felt a little disappointed. Not only that, I began to doubt my own charm. Has your charm weakened? Or is it that he has too high a vision? Just when Wang Zuxian thought Jiang Feng had no intention of her, sudden, Jiang Feng kept his hands on her long legs. Mr. Jiang, Wang Zuxian was frightened and was about to say something. At this time, Jiang Feng held her hand and stared at Wang Zuxian. Xiaoxian, do you like me? I. Wang Zuxian had a good impression of Jiang Feng, not just because he took care of and helped her many times. It's just the reserve of being a woman. Wang Zuxian couldn't speak. Zhang Feng, who was already considered an expert in love, said nothing when he saw her. I already know the answer in my heart. He put his arms around Wang Zuxian's waist and kissed him. After a while, Wang Zuxian, who had a rosy face, rolled his eyes at Jiang Feng shyly. The latter smiled proudly. The lights came on at this time. A conversation that stopped the two of them. Look up. It turns out the movie is over. After tidying up some messy clothes, he stood up and said to Wang Zuxian with a smile, Let's go. Um tilde. Wang Zuxian responded with a voice as loud as a mosquito. It's different when it comes back. The moment the two of them walked out of the movie theater, Wang Zuxian followed him like a little daughter-in-law. Out of the cinema. Check the time. It was already after 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So Jiang Feng proposed to go out for dinner. Wang Zuxian felt a little confused and naturally had no idea. Zhang Feng asked his bodyguard to drive to the Mandarin Hotel. Booked a table directly at the hotel. Wang Zuxian's appetite is very small. Zhang Feng originally thought that with a frame and figure like hers, she should be able to eat well. He picked up the spoon and gave her a bowl of black chicken soup. Be careful if you are hungry at night if you eat so little. This is black chicken soup. It is quite nutritious. Drink more. Wang Zuxian nodded and took the soup handed over by Jiang Feng. He felt a little happy. Jiang Feng, who was full of wine and food, took her to visit Causeway Bay at night. Although Jiang Feng looked down on Lu Wanxiang, he had to say, I still agree with his method of picking up girls. When chasing women, in addition to sweet words, you also have to be willing to spend money. Since you want to pick up others and are unwilling to spend money, who would want to be with you? When pursuing, talk you don't even want to spend money on love. Do you expect me to spend money on you when you get married? So, if you want to pick up a woman, as long as you are generous, not ugly, and say a few sweet words, you can basically get her. Zhang Feng is actually not very good at it. Picking up girls. However, with the experience of the previous girls, he has gradually gained experience. When he came to Causeway Bay Times Square and luxury stores, Zhang Feng waved his hand. He bought everything from Louis Vuitton to Chanel and so on. 
Wang Zuxian was frightened by Jiang Feng's buying and buying actions and said quickly, No, this is too much, I can't use so much. Not much, not much at all. Jiang Feng looked at Wang Zuxian seriously. In my heart, you are priceless. As long as you like it, forget about this and just buy the entire mall. Wang Zuxian has never seen someone like Jiang Feng chasing after a girl. For a moment, he was so moved. In this life, because of the variable Jiang Feng, there was no spark between Wang Zuxian and Qi Qin. And because of Jiang Feng's protection, I dug her over from Shaw Brothers early. Therefore, the circle of contact is relatively clean. Unlike in her previous life in Yongsheng, she was treated as a puppet on a string and made many bad movies. Let's go and have a look. After that, Jiang Feng hugged Wang Zuxian and walked towards the next place. The whole night, Wang Zuxian was dizzy. It was a complete eye-opener. In the past, she went out to the mall with her friends and spent hundreds of thousands to buy some clothes and jewelry. She felt expensive. Today, in just two hours, Jiang Feng completely showed her what it means to spend money like water. What it means to be lavish. More than one million Hong Kong dollars, without blinking an eye. When she walked out of the mall, a cold wind hit her face. It blew over, and Wang Zuxian, who was wearing thin clothes, hugged her tightly subconsciously. Jiang Feng took off his coat and put it on her body. Wang Zuxian was very moved when he saw the change. The lock in his heart was quietly opened. The weather was too cold. I didn't stay in Causeway Bay for long. After getting in the car, Jiang Feng didn't ask where Wang Zuxian was going. He asked the driver to go back to the hotel directly. Wang Zuxian, who was already prepared, bit his lip lightly and had no objection. Night. Good time and beautiful scenery. Jiang Feng Feng couldn't help but sing Li Ming Yang's like a dream. Last night's bridal chamber was warm with spring. The candles were out and the sound of the pipa was slow. Walking leisurely against the railings, people are far and near in the world. The shadows turn. The shadows turn. The moon presses the begonia branches softly. The next day, bright eyes. The two of them had a sweet breakfast in the hotel. After finishing breakfast, Jiang Feng waved his hand. Yang Jianming walk it up. He handed a car key to Jiang Feng. Take the car keys. He placed it in front of Wang Zuxian and said with a smile, You can drive this car from now on? Huh. Wang Zuxian looked at the car keys in confusion, and then looked at Jiang Feng in confusion. Jiang Feng explained, This one is more beautiful. I specially asked someone to make a customized version. If you like it. It's much safer than your previous Honda. Oh. Wang Zuxian nodded without declining. Put it in the bag. Do you want to go back? Or do you want to go directly to the airport with me? Looking at Wang Zuxian, Jiang Feng asked. Putting the rice porridge and the spoon into his mouth, Wang Zuxian said vaguely. I want to go back for a while, so as not to worry about my family. Jiang. Feng nodded. Then I'll have someone give it to you. If you have physical problems, don't drive. Wang Zuxian rolled his eyes at him. He lowered his head and ate the porridge in the bowl with a red face. Jiang Feng smiled. Ten minutes later, when Wang Zuxian saw the pink BMW 3 that Jiang Feng gave her, she was immediately happy and kissed Jiang Feng on the cheek. Thank you, Brother Feng. I like this car very much. BMW currently has only two versions on sale. White and black. Like the pink one, it can only be customized. Jiang Feng smiled. As long as you like it, can I drive back by myself? Wang Zuxian looked around the car carefully, blinked, looked at Jiang Feng and said, No. Jiang Feng touched her head and said, I'll ask the bodyguard to help you get home. Just sit inside. After you come back from Wan Wan, you can drive whatever you want. All right. Although he was a little disappointed, Wang Zuxian still nodded obediently. Afterwards, the two chatted for a while. Jiang Feng asked Yang Jiaming to send a few people to send Wang Zuxian back. By the way, he left Wang Zuxian in the Honda where he had lunch at the restaurant yesterday. The car drove back. After everything was arranged, Jiang Feng asked someone to drive to the Happy Time Cafe. Central. Happy Time Cafe. Jiang Feng was frightened when he saw the queue of people tens of meters long. Then, I remembered what happened yesterday. Instantly relieved. Obviously, these must have come here because of their fame. After putting on a disguise, Jiang Feng walked into the coffee shop. 
the store was full of people. A coffee shop of nearly 300 square meters. All seats were occupied. This business is booming. Zhang Feng glanced around, and after seeing Li Jusin, he walked straight over. Beauty, what are you busy with? Li. Jusin looked up. After seeing it was him, she smiled and said, What did you do last night? Didn't see you back? Um? Nothing much to do. Yesterday a business partner came from Europe to chat. After a pause, Jiang Feng changed the topic. By the way, let me tell you. I am going to Wanwan today, maybe for a few days. Sure enough. When Li Jusin heard that he was going to Wanwan, she quickly asked, What are you going to Wanwan for? Doing business? Um. Zhang Feng nodded and said, There are a few important things that need to be dealt with over there. By the way, where are Awan and Arong? Why didn't you see them? Zhang Feng looked around and didn't see them. They went to the company. Li Jusin said. Zhang Feng smiled and said, So, you just stay here and look after the store? Li. Jusin shook his head and said, I came here to take a look. I'll have something to do later. There is no need to worry about it in the store. The store manager will take care of it. With that said, Li Jusin took two newspapers and handed them to Jiang Feng and said happily, Look, we are popular. Took the newspaper. It's a Sing Tao newspaper with the key points of the news on the front page. The stars have gathered. The opening ceremony of the coolest cafe. According to detailed statistics, more than 30 entertainment industry actors and singers appeared before and after the opening ceremony. Hong Gu, F.A. Gu, Guorong, Zhu Xin and other movie stars congratulated her. In addition, Ms. Fang Yihua from the radio station, Shen Nansheng from the New World and other business circles attended. The content is written in great detail. After watching it, I felt like I was at the scene. Putting the newspaper aside, Jiang Feng smiled at Li Jiusin. Isn't this exactly what you expected? Now that your store is popular, there will definitely be many people coming here in the future. Hee <laughs> hee. Li Jiusin he smiled and said, Taking advantage of the current boom, I plan to open a branch. What do you think? Open a branch? Zhang Feng was a little surprised. Heartway. This little girl, her head is spinning very fast. She took advantage of the situation to open a branch. Even if the branch decoration takes two or three months. Opening is also better than an ordinary store. As long as you hang the same sign, you might be able to form a brand over time. Good. Zhang Feng nodded and looked at Li Jusin's bright face with admiration and said with a smile, I can't tell, you are quite good at doing business. That is. Li Jusin proudly raised her swan-like jade neck. How about it? Do you want more support? After saying that, Li Jusin looked at him with a smile. Okay. Zhang Feng nodded and smiled. However, this time I have to ask for shares. In this way, you set up a coffee company. If I invest 10 million Hong Kong dollars, how about a 40% shareholding? Okay, that's settled. Li Jusin clapped her hands excitedly, then stretched out her hand in front of Jiang Feng. What to do? Jiang Feng asked. Money? Didn't you invest 10 million? Bring me the check. Li Jusin looked at Jiang Feng as if he should take it for granted. Your company has not even been established yet. Yet you want me to pay 10 million? Sooner or later. After a pause, Li Jusin explained. Don't you want to go to Wanwan right away? I don't know what day it will be when you come back. Time is money. Don't waste it. I really admire you. Zhang Feng shook his head. Then Li Jusin had no choice. He took out the checkbook from his arms, wrote down 10 million, tore it off and handed it to her. Brother Feng. You are so kind. Li Jiusin took the check and kissed Jiang Feng's face excitedly. Jiang Feng smiled. After parting with Jiang Feng, while riding, we came to Lai Chikok and stopped in a residential area. Please wait here. I'll be back in a moment. Wang Zuxian, who opened the door and got out of the car, explained to the two bodyguards sitting in the driver's seat and passenger seat. Okay, Miss Wang. Getting out of the car. At this time, there were a few scattered people walking on the road. Li Jusin wore sunglasses and a hat and walked into the community in a low-key manner. He quickly arrived at Wang's house. In the living room, Wang's father while watching TV, Wang's mother was mopping the floor with a mop, scolding Wang's father while mopping. Mom and Dad, I'm back. Opening the door, 
Wang Zuxian said hello and put the gifts in his hands on the table. These were all bought when he accompanied Jiang Feng to the mall last night. Why buy so many things? Ah, isn't this Chanel? I heard it's very expensive, costing tens of thousands. As a kid, you don't know how to buy a house with the money you earn. After seeing the luxury perfume on the table, Mother Wang began to scold her. Wang Zuxian showed a slight smile. It's okay. You don't have to worry about me. I recently accepted two advertisements, and I can buy a house right away, so don't worry. Tearing open a bag, Wang Zuxian took out a belt and coat from inside. Dad, look at it. Does this style look good? Father Wang nodded. He moved the clothes on the bed twice and said with satisfaction, Daughter, you chose these clothes well. You have made progress. They are much better than before. Yeah? Wang Zuxian smiled and said, That's good. Of course it's good. The one you're wearing costs 20,000 yuan. Mother. Wang glared at her husband, then took her daughter's hand and asked worriedly, Xiao Xian, I took a look and you got more than 200,000 yuan back. It's not easy for you to make money. No need to buy it for us so well. When Wang, as father heard that the clothes he was wearing were worth 20,000 yuan, he was shocked. He quickly took them off. Standing on the same side as Wang's mother, he persuaded her, Listen to your mother. It's not easy for a girl like you to make money. Take these and return them. Wang Zuxian was speechless. Dad, mom, I bought everything. How do I return it? Father Wang and Mother Wang frowned, looked at their clothes and said, I haven't even torn off the tag yet, so I can't return it. Mom, feel free to accept it. I know it well. By the way, let me tell you something. I'm going to Wanwan to film for a few days. Are you going back to Wanwan? Wang. S. Mother was overjoyed and said to Wang's father, Old man, how about we go back to Wan Wan? I'm optimistic. Father Wang nodded and said, I haven't been back for a while. It might as well go back and have a look. Now, Wang Zuxian was dumbfounded. If her parents were both there, how could she and Jiang Feng be together? Wouldn't it be discovered by her parents? Wang Zuxian's eyes rolled slightly. Yes. Wang Zuxian, who thought of a countermeasure, said, you guys, you might as well go back and see Grandpa. Okay, Dad and Mom, I won't tell you anymore. The company car is still waiting for me down there, so I'll leave first. If you go back to Wan Wan, if you go back to Wan Wan, buy your tickets early. With that said, Wang Zuxian stood up, waved his hand, and planned to leave. Eh, you're leaving in such a hurry. Yes, the company has already booked the tickets and is waiting for me downstairs then you should pay attention to safety. Okay, got it. Looking at her daughter's retreating back, Mother Wong sighed, then turned around and walked into the house. This time, head to Bei Bei. Jiang Feng plans to take action on the future semiconductor industry of Wan Wan. Many companies, such as Honghai Precision, Taiji Electric, and Huashua, have only been established for two or three years. When the company valuation is not very high, it is a good time to start. If we wait another three or four years, the semiconductor industry will take off. At that time, the Gulf government and European and American capital noticed it, and any acquisitions at that time would be troublesome. Same as the ASML company in Holland. Jiang Feng does not plan to acquire it completely. Just hold the shares. These semiconductor companies in Bay Wan can undertake chip foundry, computer foundry, mobile phone foundry, etc. In fact, it relies largely on the support of Country M. Once it loses the support of Country M, it is still unknown whether it can be like its previous life. Therefore, the best way is to hold shares. Without affecting the development of these enterprises, we can obtain the right to speak in case of emergencies. For this reason, Zhang Feng came to talk in the name of the fund company this time. This time, head to Bei Bei. Zhang Feng didn't bring many people with him except for Yang Jiaming and a few bodyguards. The only ones left are Wang Zuxian and several members of the Jiang Family Foundation. Brother Feng, when we arrive in Wanbei, where should we go first? On the plane, Wang Zuxian nestled in Jiang Feng's arms. He looked at Jiang Feng with a pair of big eyes. Jiang Feng touched her long black hair and said, Fool, of course go to the hotel first. Otherwise, where are you going to go? Jiang Feng smiled. He gently scratched her jade nose with his fingers. Don't say anything. Wang Zuxian's skin is very delicate and does not match her tall frame. 
Wang Zuxian smiled. Of course I know how to go to the hotel first. I mean you have settled down. What are you going to do? Little girl, do you want to go back to see your grandpa? Zhang Feng said with a smile. Zhang Feng would not have guessed Wang Zuxian's little thoughts. We. Oui. Wang Zuxian smiled. However, you may be disappointed. I may be very busy these days and have no time to accompany you to see it. This time, Zhang Feng plans to wipe out the entire Wanwan semiconductor industry. There are several companies he is talking about. He doesn't have time to accompany Wang Zuxian to visit relatives or walk around the streets. Oh, Wang Zuxian nodded slightly. Then he said with a smile, It's okay, you go and do your work. I'll take some time to check it out. Oh. Mm. Zhang Feng touched her long hair and thought to himself, She is really a sensible woman. We chatted for a while. The two of them, who had not slept well last night, took advantage of the gap and fell asleep with their eyes squinted. In a daze, Zhang Feng woke up, until there was a commotion in the cabin, and Zhang Feng finally woke up. Mr. Zhang, we've arrived in Wanbei. Yang Jiaming next to him reminded. Zhang Feng rubbed his bleary eyes, yawned, glanced at Wang Zuxian in his arms, and then nodded slightly. Okay, get ready to get off the plane. After that, Zhang Feng pinched Wang Zuxian's face gently and shouted, Xiao Xian, we're getting off the plane. Ah? Uh? Wang Zuxian, who woke up from his sleep, raised his head and asked, Are we here? Well, here we are. According to the order, the first class passengers got off the plane first. There was still a hint of chill in Baiyi at the end of January. Zhang Feng walked out of the airport and was faced with the cold wind that blew over, causing him to sneeze. Wang Zuxian quickly handed over a tissue. Zhang Feng Feng wiped the pin and threw it into the trash can nearby. Huh. He took a deep breath. He smiled and said, Let's go. Wang Zuxian nodded, hugged Zhang Feng's arm, and walked slowly outside the terminal. The long pickup channel was filled with people picking up the airport. People of various colors put up signs with different colors saying different things. The name of the color. After walking for a while, Wang Zuxian suddenly said, Over there. I saw the person who picked us up. Zhang Feng looked over. They were indeed here to pick them up. The people who approached were people from the Wanwan branch of Master Kong Group. After revealing their identities, the leader, a man in a suit, spoke in Hokkien, Welcome, Mr. Jiang comes to Wanwan. I am Yao Shur, general manager of Master Kong Wanwan branch. Yao Shur knew that it was popular in Xiangjiang to call him Sir. So, he followed the way in Xiangjiang and called Jiang Feng Sir. Jiang Feng looked at the young man in his thirties in front of him and nodded slightly. Then, they got into the car arranged by Yao Shur. Soon, several cars drove away from the airport. Yao Shur enthusiastically introduced the fun features of Wan Wan to Jiang Feng in the car and also chatted with Wang Zuxian for a few words. Nowadays, Wang Zuxian has become popular in the entire Chinese language circle with his role as Nia Xiaoqian in Hong Kong and has many fans in island countries and South Korea. Soon, the group arrived at the Intercontinental Hotel in the center of Wan Bay. After checking in, they took a rest. After a while, then I held a short meeting with several employees of the fund company to allocate work. Let them contact Honghai Precision, Taiji Electric, Hua Shua, Gigabyte, and other companies respectively, and submit their greetings. That night, good news came back. The first to make progress were Honghai Precision and Hua Shua. After a night of rest, the next day, Zhang Feng took his team to Honghai Precision Company. Speaking of Honghai Precision, some people may not have heard of it, but one of its companies, I believe most people have heard of. Foxconn. Foxconn, a mainland semiconductor contract manufacturing company that will explode in the next two decades. It is a company under Honghai Precision. Although this company may not be the global IC foundry leader 20 years from now, it is already quite famous in the Bay Area. But internationally, there is no big news yet. The main business undertaken is also low-end electronics OEM production. If Jiang Feng wants to lay out his own hardware company and prepare for the next electronics industry, he cannot do without OEM production. In later generations, why is Huawei company controlled by others? Isn't it precisely because the hardware manufacturing industry produces the chips it develops? So, having your own semiconductor manufacturing company is required. 
Even to a certain extent, it is more important than a software development company. Come to the gate of Honghai Precision Company. Guataiming came to greet him personally and was then led to a lounge. Although Guataiming was proud of his business career at this time, Guataiming's attitude was still very polite when facing Jiang Feng, a dragon crossing the river. After greeting each other, Guataiming said with a smile, Speaking of which, Mr. Jiang and I are still related. Jiang Feng smiled. After all, he and Guo Taiming are indeed related. Guo Taiming's wife is Lin Baixin's daughter. When wealthy girl Lin Shuru married poor boy Guo Taiming, it was a sensation throughout Hong Kong, Ao Island, and the Bay. In the early years, Guo Taiming, a poor boy, met the innocent Lin Shuru at that time when he was working in a pharmaceutical factory, and then the two got together. In 1975, she even proposed marriage to the Lin family. At that time, the Lin family was already a wealthy family in Xiangjiang. Of course, Lin Baixin didn't want her only daughter to marry a poor boy. I firmly opposed the two of them being together. Lin Shuru, however, fell in love with Gua Taiming and said she would not marry him. Naturally, Lin Baixin was so angry that she was half dead. He declared that as long as he married her, he would no longer be the daughter of the Lin family. In addition, Yu Baozhu was involved in this. The relationship between the two fathers and daughters is very tense. In the end, Lin Shuru chose Gua Taiming and resolutely followed Gua Taiming back to Wanwan. Since then, the relationship between the two families has been tense. No more contact. Speaking of which, Lin Shuru is still very discerning and has taken a fancy to Gua Taiming, a potential stock. It is a pity that when Gua Taiming was about to reach her peak moment and become the richest man in Taiwan, she suffered from breast cancer. In 2002, he was diagnosed with the disease. In March 2005, his condition worsened and he died at National Taiwan University. I'm afraid she didn't expect that less than two years after her death, Gua Taiming hooked up with a dance teacher and got married the following year. I have been cultivating the land my whole life, only to have someone else pick the grapes when the time comes to harvest the fruits. I have to say that Lin Shura's life was a bit miserable. When I was young, I had a falling out with my family. After death, the husband takes a new love. What a tragedy in life. How? Is there anything wrong with Mr. Jiang? Guo. Timing saw Jiang Feng sigh suddenly, frowned and asked. Well, realizing that he had lost his composure, Jiang Feng's expression returned to normal. He shook his head and said, It's okay. I just thought of something. After a pause, Jiang Feng's face became serious and he looked at Gua Taiming. Mr. Gua, I won't beat around the bush with you. Okay, to be honest, I have an electronics company that is developing a product and needs OEM production. Han Hai is the largest OEM manufacturer of electronic products in the Gulf. I hope Han Hai can help with production. In addition, I am also optimistic about the development of Han Hai and Foxconn and want to invest. I don't know what Mr. Gua's plans are. Zhang Feng stated his purpose in one breath. Talking about family affairs and family ties is of no use. Besides, he didn't think that Gua Taiming would have a good impression of the Lin Baixin family. You know, when he married Lin Shuru, he became the laughing stock of the media industry, being ridiculed as a toad eating swan meat. As a man, how could he not have some resentment in his heart? So, it is better to come to the matter directly. Besides, he also made an appointment with Hwashua Company in the afternoon. As for people, Gua Taiming was not surprised when he heard that Jiang Feng wanted to find Han Hai as an OEM. In comparison, Han Hai was already well known in Baodao's IC foundry industry, and there was no electronics industry in Xiangjiang. Naturally, he had to find mainland China or Baodao Island. However, he was surprised that Jiang Feng wanted to buy a stake in Han Hai. Could it be said that this person also thought that the electronics industry would have great potential in the future? Gua Taiming did not answer immediately. Instead, he frowned and thought deeply about whether to let Jiang Feng buy a stake. Jiang Feng refused if he buys shares, he will definitely annoy the richest man in Xiangjiang, or the richest man in Great Xia in the future. He has been to Foxconn and knows that Jiang Feng's Master Kong Group, Lanshan Group, Shenlong Motors, and other three companies have invested heavily in Pengcheng. The mainland. It is much larger than Foxconn. It is said that CCTV in the mainland has been broadcasting advertisements of Master Kong and Blue Mountain for many years. Over time, 
these potential companies will fully explode and how amazing their energy will be. He does not know. He only knows that once he is offended, recruiting this big boss may affect Foxconn's layout in the mainland. But if Zhang Feng is agreed to take a stake, wouldn't that mean attracting a powerful shareholder? Naturally, a person like Zhang Feng will not be willing to just a 10% stake. Once too many shares are given, what will happen if the control is lost? This kind of thing does not happen. Zhang Feng glanced at Guo Taiming, who frowned and said nothing. He raised his eyebrows and raised his eyebrows. Wei Yang said in a calm tone, What? What's Mr. Guo's problem? Without no problem. Guo Taiming smiled unnaturally. It's an honor for me that Mr. Jiang has chosen Han Hai. I wonder how much Mr. Jiang plans to invest. Guo Taiming decided to explore the bottom first. As long as Jiang Feng's request is not too excessive, it doesn't matter if he agrees. Everything has two sides. Although, the introduction of Jiang Feng's strong capital may affect his control of the company. However, there are also benefits to introducing capital. First of all, Han Hai's strength has been strengthened. The original five-year strategic plan may be advanced by two years. I plan to invest 1.5 billion Hong Kong dollars. Looking at Guo Timing, Zhang Feng said with a smile. 1.5 billion Hong Kong dollars? Guo Timing was a little moved. According to the exchange rate, 1.5 billion Hong Kong dollars is equivalent to 5.4 billion new Taiwan dollars. And Han Hai's total turnover last year was only more than 3 billion new Taiwan dollars. Zhang Feng wanted to invest 5.4 billion. Was he planning to control Han Hai? For a moment, Guo Taiming was alarmed. Mr. Zhang, I'm sorry, Han Hai is not short of funds now, so I can only decline your kindness. Shaking his head, Guo Taiming looked at Jiang Feng with an apologetic look. Haha, Jiang Feng smiled. Not short of funds? If you don't lack funds, you won't be in a hurry to go public. When I arrived at Wan Wan yesterday, when Jiang Feng asked people to go out and inquire, he received the news that Han Hai planned to go public this year. Although Han Hai is currently famous in Wan Wan, but it is not the leader in the foundry industry. In front of it, there are two companies, Huaxing and Guangyu. The reason why Gua Taiming is eager to list Han Hai is to obtain funds to purchase new equipment, then compete with other companies for orders from Intel, IBM, and other companies. So, Terry Go said Han Hai is not short of money. That's completely false. The purpose is to worry that he may lose control of the company after buying shares. Mr. Gua, let's be honest. I plan to invest 1.5 billion Hong Kong dollars to occupy 60% of Han Hai shares. After buying shares, you don't have to worry about losing control of the company. We only hold shares and will not affect your control of the company. Even to a certain extent, I will fully support you. In addition, there is no need for Han Hai to go public at this time. I think its potential has not yet been realized. It can wait a little longer. What do you think? Looking at Guo Timing, Zhang Feng said with a sincere face, In the next 10 years or so, Zhang Feng will not interfere with the development of Han Hai. Just follow the steps. Investing in Han Hai is mainly because of its potential and to improve his understanding of semiconductors. Industrial layout. Zhang Feng is not interested in intervening in the management of Han Hai Company. You don't want management rights of the company? Guo Timing looked at Zhang Feng in surprise. In his opinion, Zhang Feng invested so much, didn't he just hope to control the company and then intervene in the company's management? Is it really just optimistic about Han Hai? Good. Jiang. Feng smiled and nodded. If Mr. Guo is worried, we can write this clause into the contract. At this time, Guo Timing believed what Jiang Feng said. He just wanted to invest in Han Hai. He didn't want to control Han Hai. Thinking of this, Guo Timing breathed a sigh of relief. The eyes he looked at Zhang Feng were not as wary as before. He said slowly, I misunderstood. It is Han Hai's honor that Mr. Zhang wants to invest in Han Hai. On behalf of Han Hai, I welcome Mr. Zhang's investment. Ha <laughs> ha. Zhang Feng smiled and secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Next, the negotiation teams of both parties discussed the details of the acquisition and drafted the relevant contract. At around 11 a.m., the two parties formally signed the agreement. Then, under the operation of the bank staff in Baodao, 
the money was transferred to Han High Precision's company account. So far, the Jiang Family Fund has become the largest shareholder of Han High Precision, accounting for 60% of the shares. Percent? Mr. Jiang, it's a pleasure to cooperate with you. Gua. Timing stretched out his hand with a smile. After hearing the sound, Jiang Feng smiled and shook his hand. Then, at Gua Timing's invitation, he visited Han Hai's factory. At noon, Gua Timing warmly entertained Jiang Feng. At noon, Gua Timing warmly entertained Jiang Feng. At the hotel dinner table, the two of them chatted happily. Mr. Jiang, what do you think is Han Hai's next step? Gua. Timing took a sip from the wine glass and then looked at Jiang Feng with a smile. Jiang Feng smiled and said, With the cost of personal computers falling, I believe that PC computers will be popular in the future. By then, the market size will be at least dozens of times what it is now. Country M is the economic center of the world, and its electronics industry is also the most developed. I suggest that Mr. Gua can try his best to undertake the industrial transfer of Country M and communicate more with Microsoft, Intel, IBM, and other companies. Try to get more orders. Of course, in terms of technology and equipment research and development, Han Hai also needs to be self reliant. Complete OEM production is not conducive to the growth of the company. It is easy to be controlled by Party A's enterprise and lose the company's independence. What Jiang Feng said is very simple, but it basically involves a common problem among OEM companies. In fact, the profits of OEM companies are really low, far inferior to chip developers. All the money has been made by leading companies. So, Han Hai wants not to be suppressed by leading companies. Then it is necessary to develop your own R&D center, especially investment in the hardware industry, such as photolithography machines. Gua Timing nodded and said with a smile, Mr. Jiang is right to the point. But I think the competition among upstream manufacturers is too fierce. Everyone wants to be the leader and make more money. The competition is too fierce, and Han Hai itself is too weak. Therefore, I prefer low end OEMs. Even the leading companies look down on it. The competition is small and only needs to kill other peers, then Han Hai can become the number one in the foundry industry. No matter who wins the competition, they can't do without Han Hai. Jiang Feng didn't feel bad about Gua Timing's idea. In fact, Gua Timing is right. Compared with the giants of Country M, Han Hai is indeed too weak. By two o'clock in the afternoon, Jiang Feng, who was full of wine and food, saw that the time was almost up, so he said goodbye. Gua Timing is not trying to persuade him to stay. With several billions of NT dollars in financing, he has strong financial resources and is somewhat impatient to implement the previously planned strategy. If it is said that it is still a bit difficult to invest in Han Hai, so acquiring Hua Shua is not at all difficult. After Jiang Feng offered 200 million new Taiwan dollars, the four founders of Hua Shua all agreed, and no one opposed Jiang Feng's acquisition of Hua Shua, founded less than two years ago. From the initial establishment of 10 million new Taiwan dollars, it has grown to 200 million new Taiwan dollars today. It has doubled 20 times. Only a fool would refuse. The only result they developed was the 486 motherboard, which was launched at the same time as IBM. It is only half a year ahead of its Wanwan counterparts. Now, peers have caught up. And in terms of output, it is still far ahead of Washua. At this time, Acer was not as backward as it would be more than 20 years ago. It is now one of the dominant players in the PC computer industry. He offered 200 million new Taiwan dollars to acquire Hua Shua. There is a clause in it that the four founders will continue to serve for more than five years. To this end, Jiang Feng did not hesitate to give 10% of his shares to the four founders. The four of them were also happy to accept it. After acquiring Hua Shua, Jiang Feng injected another 300 million new Taiwan dollars to allow Hua Shua to increase the research and development of motherboards and graphics cards. He also briefly talked about the development of later generations of PC computers with the four people. For this reason, the four of them called Jiang Feng connotation and let Jiang Feng serve as Hua Shua's chief strategic advisor. Jiang Feng was speechless. However, he did not refuse. 
Zhang Feng also hopes that Hua Shua in this life can be even more powerful than his previous life and become a computer company comparable to Apple. Spent a few hours at Hua Shua Computer Company. Had a casual meal with Su Shichang, Tang Zhixian, Liao Mingxiang, Xie Weiqi, and other four people. Zhang Feng returned to the hotel with several people from the fun company this time. Ah Yin, I'm back. Pushing open the door of the hotel room, Zhang Feng shouted towards the inside. Then, there was a sound of footsteps running out. Why are you back so late? It's past 8 o'clock. Wang Zuxian stepped forward to help Jiang Feng take off his coat and handed over his slippers. Jiang Feng burped, then said with a smile, I was discussing business with someone today and had a meal, so I came back a little late. By the way, have you had dinner? If you haven't eaten, I'll take you out to eat at the night market. I heard that there are a lot of delicious food in the Wanbei night market. Forget it. Wang Zuxian shook his head and helped Jiang Feng, who was a little drunk, to walk into the room. TSMC was established in 1987. It was founded by Zhang Zhongmo, a native of Wanwan. Zhang Zhong made a living in the mainland. In 1949, he went to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in M, specializing in mechanical engineering. He excelled in his studies at the school and won many scholarships from MIT. While in school, I became interested in the electronics industry. He graduated with a master's degree in mechanical engineering from MIT in 1954. In the second year, he joined Sylvania, an electrical appliance company near Boston, as an engineer in the semiconductor department and entered the semiconductor industry. After working for a few years, Zhang Zhongmo quit his job and came to Texas. He applied for a job at Texas Instruments and became the first Chinese employee of Texas Instruments. In the following years, Zhang Zhongmo seemed to be cheating. Received a PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford University. In terms of career, he was successively promoted from the general manager of Texas Instruments Circuit Department to the company's vice president and senior vice president, becoming the third person in Texas Instruments. The scenery was endless for a while. Texas Instruments has also become the world's number one. It has 60,000 employees worldwide. He is the person with the highest position in a large company in Country M throughout Dashia. Later, due to a conflict with the company's strategy and the then President Xiaobai, he resigned from his job and returned to Wanwan. He gained the trust of the Bayan authorities and became the president of the Bayan Industrial Technology Research Institute. Two years later, he quit his job and founded the world's first professional foundry company, TSMC, in Shinshu, Bay. Since then, TSMC has been under his leadership. From a young age, it has gradually grown into the world's largest electronics company. At its peak, TSMC achieved annual revenue of 247 billion yuan, become the largest semiconductor foundry company in the Gulf and even the world. Zhang Zhongmo expressed his great welcome when he learned that Jiang Feng Xiaoyao had become a shareholder. In fact, it is not an exaggeration to say that Wang Xinzong's investment is a timely reign for today's TSMC. Since TSMC was founded three years ago, it has always been poorly managed and its business has been very slow. In the 1980s, the vast majority of chip manufacturers produced and sold their own products, and there were very few OEMs. Like IBM Intel AMD this is true for Philips, Texas Instruments, Motorola, etc. Until the late 90s. As the application of chips becomes more and more widespread, except computers, servers, and communication equipment. There are also video recorders and game consoles VCD slash DVDs, even refrigerators, color TVs, air conditioners, stereos, etc. are all embedded with chips, causing a surge in the demand for chips. As a result, TSMC received a large number of orders and finally rose to prominence. Now, Electronic products such as mobile phones and televisions have not yet completely exploded. It also has nothing to do with the big manufacturers in Country M. In addition, orders within the island are taken by companies such as Honghai Precision and Huaxing. TSMC now relies on some small orders from island countries for this purpose. It can be said that development is extremely difficult. When he learned that Jiang Feng wanted to invest, he didn't object at all. It could even be said that he was waiting for him on the other side. The biggest boss of TSMC is actually not Zhang Zhongmo but the Taiwan authorities. Because it was founded by the Gulf government, 
with an investment of 100 million US dollars. In addition, international electronics giant Philips also invested more than 20 million US dollars. In addition, private capital such as Formosa Plastics also invested more than 20 million US dollars. Together, they laid the capital foundation of TSMC. The composition of its shares may be too complex and intricate. However, because TSMC has not been developing smoothly in recent years and has suffered serious losses, these shareholders have begun to regret it. Zhang Zhomo lobbied them several times, hoping that they could supplement funds and introduce new equipment and new processes, but they all refused. So now that I heard that someone is willing to take over, they are very happy to transfer the stock. Finally, after some negotiation, the Jiang family fund acquired 68% of TSMC shares at a price of 500 million new Taiwan dollars, becoming TSMC's largest shareholder. In addition, in order to pursue the development of TSMC, the Jiang family provided another 100 million US dollars in guaranteed loans to TSMC. Zhang Zhongmo used this money to introduce a new generation of production lines that he had long coveted taking TSMC's manufacturing technology to a new level and laying the foundation for its subsequent rise. Of course, this is all a matter for later. After acquiring TSMC, Zhang Feng's goal of coming to Wanwan this time was more than half achieved. Two goals remain. Gigabyte, MSI, TSMC, and Hanhai are both downstream manufacturers. Huashua, Jijia, and Weixing are all midstream manufacturers core provided by NVIDIA. These three companies then package them into motherboards and graphics cards. Then it is produced by downstream workers. All three companies focus on graphics cards and motherboards. Logically speaking, the businesses of these two companies overlap with Huashua's, so there is no need to acquire them. But, Zhang Feng is a reborn person. We know that Weixing and Jijia are not inferior in graphics card motherboards in the future, and they are the top three motherboard and graphics card manufacturers in the world. Eggs cannot be put in one basket. Moreover, these two companies have now become something that can be completed in three to four years, two to three billion in T dollars, or tens of millions of Hong Kong dollars. Why bother? Just buy insurance and invest. What's more, the future market value of these two companies is almost several billion dollars. It can be considered a small giant. However, Zhang Feng did not take action in either of these two companies. Instead, it was someone from the Jiang Family Foundation who took action. Under the leadership of Wang Zuxian, he traveled to Wanbei City, climb Yamingshan, stroll around Shurfin Old Street, and the distinctive Jiufin Old Town. Night. The two came to Ziminding. Before coming, Jiang Feng was quite curious about Ziminding. After all, Ziminding is known as the Causeway Bay of the Bay. It is the most beautiful street in the entire Wanbei night market. Why? Is the night view here similar to that of Causeway Bay? Wang, Zuxian, who was holding more than a dozen skewers of mutton skewers, explained with excitement while feeding Zhang Feng the skewers. When I was in middle school, I came here to play often. Zhang Feng chewed the mutton and looked at the colorful Zime ending. He said casually, Do you still like to come to such occasions? Walking along the way, he saw no less than a dozen bars, nightclubs, hotels, goose houses, etc. The whole street was filled with a strong sense of luxury. Wang Zuxian blushed and said, I was young at that time, and there were all classmates in the class. Bewitching is also played here. Quite messy. The men and women hugged each other and played in the bar for a while. They were not used to this atmosphere and left. Do you know? When I got to school the next day, I learned that on which day after I left, some of my classmates met short mules and people on the street, and two of them were female classmates. I never saw them again after that. At this point, thinking about it, I'm quite lucky. If I take a step too late, I'm afraid the consequences will be disastrous. Zhang Feng glanced at Wang Zuxian, who was still frightened. He said nothing. He patted her shoulder gently. It's okay. It's all over. I will protect you from now on. Wang Zuxian smiled at him. He handed the mutton skewers in his hand to Jiang Feng. Jiang Feng lightly bit into two skewers. He was walking on the street talking and laughing. Suddenly, there was a commotion in front of the two of them. Help! Help! Two calls for help came. A figure was seen running towards the two of them. 
Someone behind seemed to shout, Don't run! Stop her! Little girl, let me see where you are running. Please, sir, help me. The little black shadow ran to Jiang Feng, pulled Jiang Feng's sleeves, and said crying. Only then did Jiang Feng realize that the black shadow was a half-year-old girl. She looked about 15 or 16 years old. She looked like she was in middle school. The girl looked pure and beautiful. Looking at this girl, Jiang Feng felt that he had seen it somewhere before. He just couldn't remember it for a moment. At this moment, the men caught up with him. First, he glanced at the woman, then at Jiang Feng and Wang Zuxian. Oh, he's a good boy. There is a beautiful horse beside me. How about playing with me? The leading man's eyes were frivolous, and he was looking at Wang Zuxian with his eyes. Jiang Feng frowned. With a cold face, he said in a calm tone, Where did the dog come from, barking here? Originally, Jiang Feng didn't intend to meddle in other people's business. But this guy in front of him had to come to his door. Jiang Feng was helpless. He didn't want to get slapped in the face. But some people are just stupid. You, what did you say? Say it again if you can. The smile on Gao Jinan's face suddenly froze. He glanced at Jiang Feng with a vicious look on his face. Idiot. Jiang Feng glanced at him with disdain and said lazily. For such a brainless person who wants to find a sense of presence, Jiang Feng has always admired people who are crazier than him. Moreover, he also spoke rudely to his woman. A cook. Gao Jinan was completely angry. He raised his finger and said viciously, Hit me! If I don't cripple him today until he kneels down and begs for mercy, I won't be called Gao Jinan. Yes. Master. Seven or eight men behind Gao Jinan rushed over. Zhang Feng didn't even look. Instead, he turned to the timid girl holding his arm tightly and asked curiously, Little girl, what's your name? Chun Tekron almost cried. Does this handsome guy in front of me have any intellectual problems? Didn't you see the bad guy rushing up? He was talking to her stupidly. Do you want to run away? But isn't this not good? The bad guys are about to attack. Chen Tekron gritted his teeth and finally did not leave. Instead, he hid tightly behind Jiang Feng and closed his eyes. What's going on? What are you doing hiding behind? Crack, bang, bang. In less than a round, Gao Jinnan's men were all lying on the ground, holding their arms or legs and wailing. See this scene. People around the downtown area were dumbfounded. The battle was over in less than 10 seconds. This. Everyone looked at Yang Jiaming and others in the field in shock. Damn it. So awesome. Look at their skills. They are all masters. Judging from his accent, that young man seems to be from Xiangjiang. From Xiangjiang? No wonder you are so crazy. But this guy is done. He actually beat up Gao Xiao's people. Yes. Even if this man has an identity, I'm afraid he's going to have to fight now. When a dragon crosses the river, it has to be coiled up. Still too young. People around him didn't think highly of Jiang Feng. After all, they knew how powerful Gao Jinnan was. Jiang Feng didn't pay any attention to these comments. No matter what the background of the man in front of him was, Jiang Feng didn't take it seriously. Can Jiang Feng has never cared much about matters solved with money. You. Pointing at you to Jiang Feng for a long time, Gao Jinnan couldn't explain why. He's not stupid. He has so many capable subordinates. Obviously, the other party's status is either rich or noble. Next moment, Gao Jinnan was brought to Jiang Feng by Yang Jiaming and others and kicked him in the socket of the foot. There was a pop. Gao Jinnan knelt on the ground. Jiang Feng lowered his head and looked at him with a sneer. Weren't you crazy just now? Want to play with my woman? After that, Jiang Feng kicked him several times in anger. The feeling of leather shoes hitting your body is self-evident. In an instant, Gao Jinnan was kicked to the ground by Jiang Feng, wailing in pain. Hold it down for me, Jiang Feng said with cold eyes. Yes. Immediately, Wang Defa and Hu Xiaojun stepped forward and pushed Gao Jinnan to the ground. Jiang Feng stepped forward and stepped on Gao Jinnan's face with one foot. Boy! Let's put the spotlight on the cover from now on. Don't let them do whatever they want just because your family has a lot of money. Next time, don't let me see you. Otherwise I will beat you until your mother doesn't recognize you. After that, he put down his feet and clapped his hands. He turned around and said, 
Let's go. Gao. Jinnan's eyes turned red. He got up from the ground. His eyes were crazy and he shouted, I'm going to kill you. Before he finished speaking, he was kicked to the ground by Hei Hua Hu Xiao Jun. He vomited blood. Zhang Feng turned around. His eyes were cold and he walked towards Gao Jinnan. You, what do you want to do? Please be beaten. I was wrong. Gao Jinnan couldn't hold it any longer and knelt on the ground in mourning, begging for mercy. Servility. If I had known earlier, it would have been over. What an idiot. Shaking his head, Zhang Feng had no interest in talking to this idiot rich second generation anymore. Everyone around him was dumbfounded. He looked at Zhang Feng with shocked eyes. He looked at Zhang Feng as if he were looking at a god. This is crazy. How cruel. Being able to beat Gao Jinnan like this. I was shocked. I also felt a lot of people's hearts. Many of them had been bullied by Gao Jinnan, a young man, and now they felt very happy when they saw this young man being beaten. At the same time, he was also worried about Zhang Feng. With the help of his subordinates, Gao Jinnan ran away crawling and rolling. You are so awesome. Chin. Dirong looked at Zhang Feng in surprise. Little girl, you haven't told me your name yet. Zhang Feng gave Wang Zuxian a look of peace and then looked at the familiar girl in front of him. My name is Technetium Chun. The girl said happily, Thank you for saving me. What's your name? I'll treat you to dinner another day when I go to Xiangjiang. Chin Dirong? Zhang Feng was stunned for a moment. Then he frowned, and then a memory appeared in his mind. Huh. It turned out to be her. Zhang Feng remembered. Isn't the girl in front of him the future Cheong Yaoju? The first Dai Cheong shakes the goddess. Ah. Are you Wang Zuxian? Ah. Hello, Miss Wang. I am your fan. Can you sign your autograph for me? Zhang Feng was pulled back by a scream. As a result, he saw Chen Dirong holding Wang Zuxian's hand happily and clamoring for an autograph. Wang Zuxian was a little laughed by her actions. He said with a smile, You paper I don't have a pin, how can I sign it for you? Ah? Uh? Right. Tekron Chin looked annoyed and frustrated. She looked nothing like the lady on the screen. Little sister, why were those people chasing you just now? Wang Zuxian has a good impression of the girl in front of him. For some reason, she seems to be exuding a charm that makes people want to get close to her. Just now? That's an asshole. I went to a bar with my friend, but the bad guy insisted that I drink with her, and even said that she would take me to a hotel room. I refused and beat my friend. I had no choice but to run away, and then they actually chased me out. I asked for help all the way, but no one answered me. As she said this, she smiled at Zhang Feng and said, Luckily for you, it was with the help of this big brother that you were not captured by him. Is public security in Wanwan so bad? Are there still people kidnapping people on the street? Wang. Zuxian frowned and said. Zhang Feng said with a smile, This is a night city, a place for nightlife and entertainment. There will definitely be many ghosts, ghosts, snakes and gods here. She turned to Chin Dirong and said with a smile, a little girl like you shouldn't play here. Children must learn to protect themselves and not just play with others all day long. Chin Xuanrong stuck out her tongue and didn't refute. Okay, it's time for us to go back. Jiang. Feng looked at Chin Xuanrong and said, Little sister, we are going back. You should go home quickly. Wang Zuxian smiled and said, Little sister, please go home quickly. Miss Wang, do you live in Xiangjiang now? I also live in Xiangjiang. Can I come and play with you then? Blinking, Chun Xuanrong had a look of expectation in her eyes. Okok. Holding her hand, Wang Zuxian smiled and nodded. Goodbye, big brother, Miss Wang. Chun Xuanrong raised her hand. Goodbye. Zhang Feng and Wang Zuxian smiled and waved. After watching Chun Xuanrong leave, Zhang Feng, who was not interested in shopping anymore, said loudly, Let's go back to the hotel. Good. Under the escort of bodyguards, the two left Ziminding. Back at the hotel, I happened to meet members of the foundation. So Zhang Feng asked, How did things go? Boss, both Jijia and Weixing agreed to our terms. 30 million renminbi invested in Weixing, acquiring 78% of the equity. 45 million renminbi invested in Jijia, acquiring 68% of the equity. Zhang Feng nodded. 
75 million new Taiwan dollars, equivalent to more than 20 million Hong Kong dollars. You can get two companies that will be successful in the motherboard and graphics card markets in the future, which is pretty good. Thank you for your hard work. Go to bed early and go back to Xiangjiang tomorrow. Zhang Feng Dao. Yes. A few people responded and then left. Zhang Feng returned to the room. When he saw Wang Zuxian taking a shower, he didn't bother him. Instead, he turned on the TV, lay on the sofa, and watched TV. Wanbei, number 7 hospital. A certain ward. Wu Wu Sun, who beat you like this? Mom, don't cry to me, I'm fine. He also said it was okay. You were almost a mummy. When your father comes later, I will ask your father to avenge you. The words fell. With a click, the door of the ward was pushed open. Gao Jinnan, who was lying on the bed, saw the visitor and shouted excitedly, Dad? The person who came in was Gao Jinnan's father, Gao Tianyao. The son of Gao Yuan of Uni President Group, he is currently the director and vice president of Uni President Group. Who beat you like this? Looking at his son who was wrapped in a mummy and wrapped in a white cloth belt, Gao Tianyao was angry. Someone dared to beat his son Gao Tianyao. This is simply disrespectful to him and does not take the uni president group seriously. Is this okay? In the future, wouldn't anyone be able to ride up and shit on his head? Gao Jinan frowned, thought for a while and said, I don't know, the accent should be from Xiangjiang. By the way, he has bodyguards who are very skilled. The few people you arranged for me were disabled and injured by his bodyguards within two or three rounds. Gao Guangyao was stunned. Then his pupils shrank. Defeated the bodyguards he sent to Gao Jinnan in two or three rounds. He knew the strength of these bodyguards very well. At the beginning, he specially selected a group of stronger soldiers from the army veterans. A strong person. To beat an ordinary person, two or three would have no problem. Now, he was defeated by one person, three times, five times, five times, two times. It seems that the power behind this person is greater than he imagined. However, no matter how powerful it is, so what if he hits his son Gao Tianyao? No matter who he is, he must pay the price. A stern look flashed in Gao Tianyan's eyes. After coming back to his senses, he glanced at his son lying on the hospital bed and said coldly, Okay, recuperate. I will take care of the rest. After that, he turned around and left. He left the ward and waved his hand. I saw several bodyguards who had previously protected Gao Jinnan and hurriedly stepped forward. Go check it out. I'd like to see who it is. Gao. Tianyao said with a sinister expression. Several bodyguards trembled and nodded quickly. Yes. The next day. Morning. After finishing the matter of Weixing and Jijia, Jiang Feng took Wang Zuxian and others on a plane from Wanwan to Xiangjiang. They walk with their front feet first. A group of people came to the hotel where they had stayed. The result was all in vain. Go, find someone to ask, where have people gone? Gao Tianyao's face was gloomy. Unexpectedly, he missed it. Could it be that the other party got the news in advance and escaped? A few minutes later, the bodyguard ran over and reported, Boss, I have already asked. They just checked out this morning. In addition, I asked around and found out that they are from Xiangjiang. The young man who beat the young master is called Jiang Feng. In addition to the bodyguards, there were several other people staying in the hospital with him. Looking at Gao Tianyao, the bodyguard said slowly, Waste. Gao Tianyao cursed fiercely. He turned around and left. At noon, the plane arrived in Xiangjiang. Ask someone to send Wang Zuxian back to the Wang family. Jiang Feng took the people back to Repulse Bay. Mom pushing the door open and returning home. Zhang Feng saw that Lin Shernan was there and walked over. Lin Shernan, who was watering the flowers and plants, heard the voice behind him, looked back, and said with a smile, You're back? Um. Zhang. Feng nodded. He stepped forward and said, You can just let the servants do this. Why do you have to do it yourself? It's okay to have nothing to do. If you don't water the flowers, what are you doing? Passing the thing in his hand to the servant aside, Lin Shernan stepped forward and patted Jiang Feng's shoulder gently and said, How is it? Have you had breakfast? If you don't have anything to eat, I'll cook it for you. Already eaten. Jiang Feng supported Lin Shernan and walked slowly towards the house. Xiao Feng, 
As long as you have that much money, what should you do if you collapse from exhaustion? It is better to start a family and have a child as soon as possible. Otherwise, if you just have a foundation and no one inherits it, wouldn't it be a waste of money? Lin Shernan didn't understand. His son had been living with the three women for so long, but he hadn't seen any movement in the belly of the three women. He couldn't help but wonder if his son had some problem. If he wasn't afraid of hurting his son, to save face. She was planning to have the doctor check her out. Mom, you're right. Jiang. Feng nodded and said with a smile, but you can't force this kind of thing. Let it take its course. Jiang Feng didn't plan to have a child so early. However, Lin Shernan's words woke him up. Yes, no matter how much foundation you build, having no one to inherit is a problem. Unlike other families, he is the only one left in the Jiang family. Du Miao. If something unexpected happens to him, who will inherit Nuada's legacy? It's right to let nature take its course, but you should also pay attention to your body and don't overwork yourself and cause the disease. How about I ask a famous doctor to diagnose and regulate your body? Mom, what are you talking about? I'm so young. What can I do? Zhang Feng said dumbfounded. When the topic was raised, Lin Shernan no longer needed to avoid it and said bluntly, See for yourself, how long have you been living with the three of them? And there has been no movement, if it weren't for. Mom, all right? Zhang Feng quickly interrupted Lin Shernan's words. A cold sweat broke out on his head. What does it sound like if you continue talking? Mom, I'm tired. I'll go back to my room and take a rest. After saying that, Zhang Feng walked quickly upstairs. Seeing his running away son, Lin Shernan shouted, Don't avoid this problem. If you don't find me a daughter-in-law and give birth to a grandson as soon as possible, I will give birth to a grandson every day. To bother you. Huh. Back to the room. Lying on the bed, Jiang Feng exhaled, thinking about what Lin Shernan just said. For a while, Jiang Feng didn't know what to say. Thinking, thinking, he fell asleep. Wake up. It was already evening. Yawning, Jiang Feng came downstairs wearing slippers. Brother Feng, you wake up. Li. Justin, who heard the voice, turned around and saw Jiang Feng coming down to greet him. Jiang Feng nodded. He came to the sofa and sat down. He said, where are our Rong and our Wan? They went home. Oh. Jiang Feng nodded slightly. How about it? How's the coffee shop doing? Jiang. Feng asked casually after taking the peeled oranges handed over by Li Jessen. Business is pretty good, with a daily turnover of around 80,000 these days. Mentioning the coffee shop, Li Jessen's face was filled with a smile. 80,000 per day? Jiang Feng was slightly moved. This income is not low. In one month, it will be almost more than 2 million? After all kinds of expenses, wouldn't it be 1.5 million in one month? Net income? Good. Zhang Feng nodded and said with a smile, How about the second store? Where to choose? The three of us discussed it and decided to open on Sai Lai Street in Sheng Wan. Sheng Wan? Zhang Feng was slightly startled. His eyes moved slightly and he looked at Li Jiusen, intent on taking the test. Why did you choose to go to Sheng Wan instead of going to Causeway Bay or Tsim Sha Sui or other prosperous areas? Li Jiusen said with a smile, Places like Tsim Sha Sui and Causeway Bay are indeed good, but the rent is too high, and there are too many coffee shops around, and the competition is too great. Instead of competing with those coffee shops for business, it is better to take over the work gathering place first. The number of companies and office buildings in Sheng Wan is second only to Central, and hundreds of companies are also gathered here. There are not many cafes here, and the quality is not very good. Opening a high-end cafe can not only provide office workers with a comfortable place for afternoon tea, it can also provide a place for some business negotiations. After all, coffee drinkers pay attention to their taste in life and have high requirements for environmental comfort and experience. Looking at Li Jiusen's eloquent analysis, Jiang Feng secretly praised her. After she finished speaking, Jiang Feng said with a smile, Now, I don't have to worry about my investment being wasted. Li Jiusen gave him a roll of her eyes. Then she held Jiang Feng's arm and rested her head on Jiang Feng's shoulder. After a while, Li Jiusen raised her head and looked at Jiang Feng with her beautiful eyes, Brother Feng. Um, I want a baby. 
Oh? Zhang Feng looked at her in surprise. What did you just say? Li. Justin blushed. Her eyes did not dodge. She looked at Zhang Feng and said, I said, I want a child. Zhang. Feng turned sideways and looked at her seriously. Did my mother tell you something? Auntie told me. However, I really want to give you a child. In this case, there is a crystallization of the two of us. Zhang Feng was very happy to hear that Li Jusin was willing to give birth to a child for him. Okay, don't think about it. You are only now, and you want to have children. Zhang Feng touched Li Jusin's long black hair. He didn't agree with her idea. Li Jusin is only 20 years old. So young. Zhang Feng doesn't want her to have a baby so early. Besides, this is the problem of the Jiang family's heroine. It's also a nod in Jiang Feng's mind. Of course, Li Jiaxin wanted to have a baby. Apart from Lin Shernan's instigation, she probably wanted to give birth to her eldest son so that she could live up to her reputation as the mistress of the Jiang family. Once she gave birth to a son, according to tradition, it is very likely that Jiang Feng will inherit Jiang Feng's huge business empire. Opening her mouth, Li Jiaxin wanted to say something else. When he saw Jiang Feng's unquestionable expression, he had no choice but to swallow his words. I had to let go of the little thoughts in my heart. Night. After dinner, Jiang Feng was walking around in the yard. Boss. Oh? Huh? What's wrong? Jiang Feng turned around when he heard the voice and saw Yang jamming. There was a call from Europe. Europe? Jiang Feng instantly thought of Selena. When he thought about it again, it was almost February. I'm afraid things have progressed in Europe. So, he picked up the satellite phone. He found a place and Jiang Feng connected. Hello. Boss, I'm Selena. Oh? Huh? Jiang Feng asked, what's wrong? Boss, there are big moves in the London financial market that you asked me to pay attention to. Some people are crazy about shorting gold futures. Oh. Did want to take action? Take a look first. Jiang Feng thought for a moment and then added. Have you been paying attention to the news of the major state-owned banks and polar bear recently? In addition, how about letting you make friends with the six major state-owned banks? Is there any progress? This is related to whether the money can be laundered. Don't wait until then. If you can't wash it out, you will be stuck and become a leak by then. It's almost there. He's still hesitating now. He may add more money and it'll be almost there. Selena said. Zhang Feng frowned. After thinking for a moment, he said, in this way, you can get it done as soon as possible. Don't be afraid of spending money. If you don't want to bear the child, you won't be able to trap the wolf. Selena nodded, okay, boss. By the way, what about the arms? Zhang Feng suddenly remembered, and he didn't know how this matter was going. The first batch of goods has been handed over. The second batch of goods is a bit troublesome and takes time. Mm. Zhang Feng looked at that list. The difficulty is not conventional weapons. It's not airplanes either. It's the relevant research and development information about aero engines. Airplanes. As long as they are installed, there is a way to get them. But design drawings like aviation engines, it must be kept strictly confidential, and it is impossible to get it like that. Just try your best. You can't force this kind of thing. After hanging up the phone, I stayed in the yard for a while. The weather was too cold. Plus it was night again, and the sea breeze blew. Come on. I'm really a bit cautious. I went back to the room and chatted with Lee Jusin for a while and watched TV. Then I hugged Lee Jusin and went asleep. The next day, when he woke up, Jiang Feng took a trip. Blue Mountain Electronics Corporation. Today, Blue Mountain Group has successfully purchased the Janya Building, which is only 40 meters away from Master Kong Building. Several of its companies. They also moved in one after another. Zhang Feng went straight to the floor where Lanshan Electronics Company was located. How about it? Zhang Feng asked as he pushed open the door of the R&D room. Zhang Weiming didn't say anything, but just took out a black rectangular parallelopiped and put it in front of him. When Zhang Feng saw it, he knew it was a VCD. It was too obvious. This is the first one. In terms of workmanship, VCD seems a bit clumsy. It is thick and black, giving people a silly, big, and thick feeling. It is not as delicate and small as the VCD in the previous life. But Zhang Feng knows that the processing technology is good. Improved. 
Although this VCD is not amazing in appearance, it has all the basic functions. Zhang Feng tried playing two DVDs. Although the picture quality and sound effects were average and not as comfortable as watching in a large theater, it was still passable. Register a patent now, Zhang Feng said happily. In his previous life, after Zhang Weiming developed VCD, he did not register the VCD patent for various reasons. As a result, although nearly 100 million VCD units were sold, Dr. Zhang Weiming, the inventor, did not receive any money. On the contrary, the Wanyin VCD he founded gradually lost its market due to fierce competition from competitors, leaving him with nothing left in the end. It is really a sad story. Zhang Feng naturally would not make such a mistake. So he got the prototype after that, they immediately ordered people to start registering patents. They also invested heavily in production and made sure to open the market as soon as possible. Mr. Jiang and Mr. Sun, our focus in the future is still on improving the manufacturing process. Today's VCD machines are still too bulky, not beautiful and not refined. We should be able to do better. Jiang Feng said to Jiang Weiming and Sun Yensheng. Mr. Jiang, I think our focus should still be on function. Our current decoding technology is only average. If the disc is scratched, it will cause mosaics, pauses, and noise in the picture. This is where we need to improve further. After Jiang Weiming heard this, he had different opinions. Mr. Jiang, you are a good technical researcher, but you are not a good businessman. Jiang. Feng smiled and said, It is indeed a good thing that you improve the decoding technology function. For consumers, they can get a better experience. But, for businessmen, it's not just that. The core technology of VCD is decoding and movement. The rest is not difficult, and it is easy to imitate. If we spend money to specialize in research, the market will be occupied by other inferior VCD manufacturers. By then, who will buy our products? More importantly, it will have an impact on our content industry. Therefore, the first priority is to lose weight and then quickly occupy the market. Of course, you can also take a two-step approach and be responsible for developing next-generation decoding technology while losing weight. It just means that time and money will increase. Sun Yinching said, I agree with Mr. Zhang's opinion. First lose weight and improve the appearance. The current appearance is too bulky. Zhang Weiming nodded. Mr. Sun, can you develop a chip for playing audio files compressed according to the MPEG-1 standard? Zhang Feng looked at Sun, Yinxing with a smile on his face. His Scoop Microsystems company developed the world's first MPEG-1 decoding chip. In terms of technology, it is also considered a leader in the world. A chip just for playing audio? Sun Yinxing frowned and said, Yes, but what's the use? We can produce a portable music player that is only about this small but can store dozens or even hundreds of songs. Zhang Feng gestured at the size of the player, which was only as long as his index finger, and then said with a smile, In that case, wouldn't it be much more convenient than a CD player? In the 1990s, the world's mainstream music player was the CD player launched by Sony in 1982. It was specially designed to play CD discs. Therefore, it was very large and could not be stuffed into your pocket. And it's the price is also very expensive, selling for up to 900 US dollars. Sun Yinxing was stunned when he heard it. But how can such a large player play a CD? A CD is bigger than a human hand. And the player Zhang Feng mentioned is only about the size of a finger. Not to mention a CD that is so big. Half a CD is not enough. We don't use optical discs for storage. We use flash memory for storage. Zhang Feng reminded. The concept of flash memory was proposed by people from the Japanese company Toshiba in 1984. But it was not until 1988 that Intel launched the first flash memory with a capacity of only 256K. In 1989, Hitachi launched the second generation of flash memory, which not only read files faster, but also had a higher capacity. Therefore, Hitachi's flash memory was recognized by the market and gradually promoted. This also made MP3 the research and development of the player has a foundation. When Sun Yinxing heard it, his eyes suddenly lit up. Mr. Jiang, this is a good idea. Jiang Feng smiled. Of course this is a good idea. The current portable music tape player. But this thing is not cheap. The unit price reaches several hundred Hong Kong dollars. 
and the capacity is very small. It can only store 30 or 40 minutes of songs at most. Today's flash memory chips are indeed not big. Counting decoding chips, headphone jacks, power supplies, etc., they are indeed much smaller than those on the market. But boss, if you use MPEG, one standard audio, there will be a big loss in sound quality. How about this kind of music equipment? Will anyone like it? Sun Yinsheng raised his doubts. In his opinion, Jiang Feng's idea is a good one. However, the sound quality of audio compressed according to the MPEG, one standard is much worse than that of music played on videotapes and CDs, as a this is a fatal disadvantage for a music device. After all, everyone spends money to buy equipment to listen to music just to appreciate the beauty of music. If the sound quality is bad, who will be willing to spend money to buy this? Zhang Feng smiled, said, Of course there will be. Our audio will be lost, but it has an added convenience. It doesn't need to be as inconvenient as a single player. We can make it small and exquisite, which can be carried around and put in a purse. Far more convenient than a single player. Besides, tape players also have losses, but do you see Sony's sales being affected? After a pause, Jiang Feng took a sip of water. Although everyone is pursuing the ultimate music experience, under economic conditions, many people will still settle for second best. Besides, we can further develop MPEG-1. It's not like we won't continue to develop it. One day, we will develop better audio. After hearing this, Sun Yinching nodded slightly and said, Mr. Jiang, I understand. Well, Mr. Sun, I hope you can develop such an audio player as soon as possible. It is even said that we can achieve a higher level based on it in the future and profit from playing movies and TV series through terminal devices. In that case, I believe this will become the company's flagship product and become famous all over the world. Um. Sun Yinxing listened and nodded. According to Jiang Feng, the market for this new player is very broad, and it may become an epic-making product like Walkman. As a technology researcher, for this epic-making new product, he is very motivated to study. A few days later, the spring festival is coming. The whole Xiangjiang is filled with the flavor of the new year. Although there was no sound of firecrackers on the street, but there are red cloths and couplets hanging everywhere. Lions danced on the streets, a joyful scene. Zhang Feng, who was going shopping with his family, was walking on the street, thinking about what happened in the past few years. Suddenly discovered. Unknowingly, he has been reborn for three years. Time flies. During these three years, he founded Master Kong Group, a listed company with a market value of 200 billion. It has also created a comparable Blue Mountain Group, the media giant New World Group, a new car making force called Shenlong Motors, and a clothing company that is about to become a top clothing company. Beyond this, there are umbrella security companies that focus on providing protection. There are also a lot of companies that have acquired, held shares, or invested in, such as Holin ASML Company, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Limited, Honghai Precision, Huashua, Weixing, Gigabyte, and Hangsung Bank, Zhang Family Trust Fund, Tianhe Fund, Honhai Private Equity Fund. The specific situation is unclear, but Zhang Feng's preliminary calculation shows that his assets are almost 100 billion US dollars. This doesn't even count the ruble making stuff in Polar Bear and Selena. So, now, he is actually extremely wealthy. Of course, the country here is just a small country. Logically speaking, with so much money, even if he spent one million a day, he would not be able to spend it all in a lifetime. No need to work hard. You can enjoy life like other kids from rich families. But Zhang Feng is not the kind who is willing to enjoy life. Once it stops, it's really useless. Moreover, he has not yet reached the goal he set for himself. Consortium. It's not just about having money. There must be boundless power. Otherwise, no matter how much money you have, it will just be a fat sheep waiting to be slaughtered. So, he can't stop. You must move forward bravely, keep going, and build an iron wall for yourself. Only in this way can we keep this family business. After the spring festival, Zhang Feng threw himself into new work. At Zhang Feng's suggestion, Zhang Weiming redesigned the appearance of the VCD and used new materials to make the appearance of the VCD very textured. Made of high-grade gray and metal, it has a sense of technology. 
Even Jiang Feng, a reborn person, had to say that he had no choice in this appearance. Just like the first time he saw the Apple 4S mobile phone. Mr. Jiang, how much does this VCD cost? After admiring it carefully for a while, Jiang Feng turned around and asked. Jiang Weiming was very satisfied with his masterpiece. After hearing Jiang Feng's inquiry, he pondered for a moment and replied, It is built according to the standards of this VCD. The unit price of each unit is around 880 to 950 Hong Kong dollars. If mass production is carried out in the future, it should be able to be reduced to about 860 Hong Kong dollars per unit if the quantity is large. 860 Hong Kong dollars per unit? Zhang Feng nodded. The price has been controlled very low. Of course, this is also because the patent is in his own hands. If it is in a foreign company, it is estimated that patent fees will be added, and it is estimated to be more than 900 or even 1,000 yuan. Looking at the VCD, Zhang Feng asked again, how much do you plan to price it? According to market research, a VSL costs about 2,300 yuan, and a laser LD costs 6,000 Hong Kong dollars. We plan to win, and the price is 3,599. 3,599? It's equivalent to one month's salary for ordinary workers and half a month's salary for white collar workers. It's not expensive. Just follow this price. Zhang Feng said, Notify the factory to start mass production. Add a few more production lines, preferably to reach a monthly output of 3 million units. If you are short of money, report it to Mr. He of the group, and he will fully support you. In addition, I will ask New World Group to cooperate with you and license the movie content to you. Ugh. Zhang Wanming nodded. In the next few days, the entire Lanshan Electronics Company was up and running. First, Several new production lines were built, and at the same time, a factory was built in Pingqing. The purpose was of course to reduce costs. At the same time, a large number of VCD recordings were carried out. The first batch of films recorded were several films produced by Debeo, New Art City, and New World Films, such as Once Upon a Time in China, Inspector 500 Million Ghost Bites Ghost, and other works. Genuine DVDs are recorded with high-quality discs to ensure that they will not be scratched even after being watched a hundred times. Of course, the price is also relatively high. A disc costs 30 Hong Kong dollars, and the profit margin is as high as 15%. But compared to 300 Hong Kong dollars for laser LD discs and more than 100 Hong Kong dollars for VSL videotapes, there is no doubt that VCD discs are much cheaper. Ping Ching. Shenlong Automobile Company. Meeting Room. Mr. Sun, to be honest, I am here to talk to your company on behalf of the Pingqing City Government. Oh. Sunbin said, I don't know if there is anything that can help the city government and Chi Flu. To be honest, the Municipal Party Committee and City Government held a meeting and decided to introduce a batch of new cars to replace the original Audi 100. After some selection, I selected the Mercedes Benz Model 1 produced by your company. But the city government is financially strapped, so I sent me here to talk to your company about this matter. Liu Weihua spoke eloquently. He told him the purpose of his trip. Sunbin felt happy when he heard that he was here to purchase a car. To be honest, BMW and Mercedes Benz are very popular in Hong Kong. But the sales in mainland China are still very average. This is also because the pricing of BMW and Mercedes Benz is much higher than the current Pusan and Jetta. The positioning is similar to the crown sold by Toyota in China. The price is nearly 200,000, and too few people can afford it. The current sales volume of Shenlong Motors in the mainland has been more than two months. BMW 3 has sold less than 800 units. The sales volume of Mercedes-Benz 1 is even lower, less than 150 units. Now, the factory has a huge backlog of cars. Last week, he happened to hear that the city government was bidding for official vehicles. He found someone to try it out, but to his surprise, Liu Weihua came to find it himself. After pondering for a moment, Sunbin said, We are very welcome to be selected. I don't know how many cars the Pingqing city government plans to purchase this time. Liu Weihua said, This time the city government decided to adjust the car used by the main cadres to Mercedes-Benz 1. It is expected to be around 80 vehicles. I wonder if Mr. Sun can get a lower price in terms of price. After all, we are a government unit, 
We are not that rich in funds, and there are too many places where we need money. Sunbin's eyes lit up when he heard there were 80 cars. 80 cars is a lot, and this is a business worth tens of millions. So, Sunbin nodded cooperatively. That's true, too much money is spent on everything. We can understand. So, in order to support the construction of Pengqing and provide strong support to the municipal government, on behalf of Shenlong Motors, I announced to the city government that these 80 cars can be purchased at a 15% discount. What do you think, Mr. Liu? Sun, Ben looked at Liu Weihua with a smile. After hearing this, Liu Weihua nodded quickly and said with a smile, Thank you, Mr. Sun, for your support. We have to take it back to discuss this, but I promise you, the three god, I will definitely give you an answer. Okay, then I will wait for the good news from Director Liu. After staying for a while, Liu Weihua got up and left. After sending him out, Sunbin quickly contacted Jiang Feng and quickly informed him of what happened here. After learning that the Pengcheng city government was willing to purchase 80 Mercedes Benz one cars finally, Jiang Feng felt a sense of joy in his heart. Even though there were only 80 cars, this was a good start. You must know that they were all Audi 100 before. Unexpectedly, the Pengcheng city government actually purchased a Mercedes Benz one this time. Maybe the news has spread, and more people will come to purchase by then. Well done, you don't a Euro T have to make any money on this order, but you must get a purchase order from the city government. Zhang Feng warned again before hanging up the phone. Time, enter April. Spring is in full bloom. After a month of emergency production, the first batch, Blue Mountain VCD, 1 million units has been produced. Patents in Europe, the United States and China, and even patents in the mainland, have also been applied for. Of course, according to the usual normal application, it must not have been received yet. But there is a saying that money can make the world go round. After spending millions of dollars, it was successfully approved in advance. After getting the patent, there was no pause. Spend a lot of money on TVB, Tao News, New World News, and Nanjing Morning News. In the mainland, TV stations such as Guangdong TV Station, Yinjing TV Station, and Magic City TV Station have invested heavily in advertising. For a while, Blue Mountain VCD officially appeared in the mainland, in the eyes of people in Xiangjiang, Aodao, Wanwan, and others. The markets for the millions of VCDs this time are mainly in economically developed regions such as Asia, M countries, and island countries. In Country M, although many people have video recorders, the picture quality is no worse than that of VCD machines, and the demand for VCD machines is not strong. However, Zhang Feng still made it an important market. First, Country M is relatively wealthy, so they can afford VCD machines. Second, Country M attaches great importance to copyright. Once VCD machines are rolled out, Zhang Feng can make a lot of money just by relying on VCD discs. Third, VCD discs are cheaper, lighter, and smaller than videotapes, which is greatly beneficial to reducing inventory. In order to drive VCD sales, in March, Zhang Feng asked Sher Nanching to personally lead a team to Country M to negotiate with major Hollywood film companies about their VCD video copyrights in Asia. For business that comes to your door, none of the Hollywood giants refused. The only exception is Columbia Pictures, which is controlled by Sony. Although failed to win Columbia, but it won Universal, Paramount, Warner Brothers, and 20th World Fox. All of a sudden, New World Group owns the video rights to thousands of Hollywood movies in Asia. If VCD sales are good, Zhang Feng can make astonishing wealth just by selling VCD discs. April 18th, this day, all major buses, ferries, subways, and airports in Xiangjiang, Sim Sha Sui, Causeway Bay, and other areas. All were replaced with advertisements for Blue Mountain VCD. Many people were a little confused about the product called VCD that suddenly appeared. It was not until they saw the explanation in the advertisement that they realized that this thing called VCD was a new product that could play videotapes. According to the advertisement, a VCD only costs 3,599 yuan. In the future, the price of purchasing VCD discs will only be 30 yuan each which is much lower than the price of videotapes. It instantly aroused the interest of many people. Mongkok, Blue Mountain Supermarket, Doorway, Buy VCD, 
Get five movie discs for free and enjoy Hollywood movies. Zhang Biao is an office worker in a foreign company. The house he bought recently has been renovated and is ready to move into. It's a new house. Just need to buy some home appliances and the like. Originally, he planned to buy a VSL video recorder. I happened to see an advertisement for Blue Mountain VCD while riding in the car, so I went to a Blue Mountain supermarket to find out if it was really as good as the advertisement said. Just came to Blue Mountain supermarket. I saw a TV set outside the supermarket playing a movie from China. Next to it was written, Advertisement Blue Mountain VCD is playing the Raiders of the Lost Ark movie. There were crowds of people standing around, pointing. Zhang Biao walked into the crowd and planned to listen. It's amazing that such a round disc as thin as paper can play a movie. You see, this VCD is so exquisite. Its appearance is countless times better than that of VSL. You can touch the feel and the details. They are so exquisitely polished. Zhang Biao stepped forward and took a look. A rectangular box with a gray shell and metal edges came into view. Just looking at the appearance. If the full score is 10 points, Zhang Biao thinks it can be scored at least 9.9 .9 points. The 0.1 point will be deducted. He thought that the writing on the panel was too small. For the elderly, or people with eyes that are too close to each other, it is still difficult to read. After watching it for a while, Zhang Biao looked at the movie being played on the color TV. He asked the man speaking to the side, Brother, how long has this movie been on? The man glanced at him, a little dissatisfied with Zhang Biao interrupting him. He responded coldly, I've been watching for dozens of minutes. Then this scene has never been recorded? Zhang Biao asked again, No. After getting the answer he wanted, Zhang Biao looked at the advertisement next to him. The Blue Mountain VCD only sells for 3599 Buy the VCD now and get five chapters of the movie disc for free on a first-come, first-served basis. Licking his lips, Zhang Biao said yes the price made me excited. At this time, a woman dressed as a supermarket attendant stood in front of the door and shouted, The third batch of goods has arrived. If you want to buy VCD, hurry up. I want to buy. I'll buy one. After the waitress's voice fell, the men and women who had just been discussing in front of the TV rushed in. When Zhang Biao reacted, he realized that he was the only one around. Hit the streets. Swearing, Zhang Biao hurriedly ran into the supermarket. Waiter, I want one. Don't squeeze in. Take your time. Stand in line. And don't mess around. After more than half an hour, it was finally Zhang Biao's turn. Waiter. I want to buy a VC. Zhang Biao hurriedly took out a wad of money and handed it over. The waiter took it without raising his head and said to Zhang Biao, Let me tell you, if you buy it at this time, you will not get a free CD. Don't give away a CD? What can you watch without a CD? Zhang Biao immediately became anxious. Why don't you give it away? Isn't that what you advertised? If you buy a VCD now, you will get five CDs for free. How? Don't you recognize your own advertisements? Don't be angry. You will definitely recognize our advertisement. It's just that our advertisement clearly stated that the first 200 people will get 5 CDs for free, and you are now the 201st. Therefore, if you want to buy it now, according to the rules of the event, it will not be given away. The waitress didn't get angry and explained patiently. <laughs> Zhang Biao almost spit out a mouthful of blood. He suppressed the anger in his heart. I hurriedly ran to the advertising space in front of the supermarket, and sure enough, at the bottom, it said, This event is limited to the first 200 users. I saw that it was actually limited to the first 200 users. Zhang Biao wished he could slap himself twice. What to hesitate? This is just great. Five discs missing. I lost 150 Hong Kong dollars in vain. It's equivalent to half a day's salary. Zhang Biao felt regretful and finally chose to buy a VCD and spent 210 yuan on seven discs. They are all movies from China that he likes to watch. Scenes like this happen in various places in Hong Kong. Some are worried about the unreliable performance of VCD and hesitate to use it when they want to buy, but found that it was sold out. I had no choice but to ask the waiter. Same day, all 50,000 VCDs sold to major Blue Mountain supermarkets in Hong Kong were sold out. Not only that, those who cannot buy it would rather give away their money first. 
and some owners of private cinemas play videotapes. The DVD of Blue Mountain is only 30 yuan, and a machine only costs 3,599 Hong Kong dollars. After watching the effect, I feel that the picture quality and clarity are very good. So, I bought several or more than a dozen units like this, bought it back to replace the existing VSL recorder. In the end, there were even scalpers selling the Blue Mountain VCDs they had bought at high prices. So, come on. The entire market went completely viral, and Blue Mountain VCD has quickly become the most frequently mentioned word in the mouths of people in Xiangjiang. It's not just Hong Kong. In Pengcheng, the Blue Mountain VCD, jointly endorsed by Zhang Yin, Chou Shuzhen, Zhu Yin, Li Ruodong, and Li Zawumiai, appeared on TV screens in Guangdong province. In particular, the two women Zhang Yin and Chou Shuzhen have won the title of Inspector 500 Million and the Gambler Da. Swordsman has quite a few fans in the mainland. Blue Mountain VCD, real movie, buy it and enjoy the ultimate movie experience. The commercial only lasts for one minute, but it shows the advantages of Blue Mountain VCD from all angles, especially in terms of discs. It can be played continuously for dozens or hundreds of times. This gimmick instantly attracted many people. You must know that videotapes these days, it can no longer be played after 20 or 30 times at most, and the bag will even collapse. A videotape costs 100 yuan. It is very expensive for many people, but now it only costs 30 yuan. Although these days, ordinary wages are it's only about 300 yuan. But white-collar workers, such as those who work in a company or sit in an office, can still get 6 to 700 yuan a month, or even 1,000 yuan. They can still afford it if they bite the bullet. Of course, more people buy these in the past. Video Parlor on the Street Wang Debeo is the owner of a video parlor. After seeing the Blue Mountain VCD with his own eyes, he decided on the spot to get rid of the previous video recorders and videotapes at a cheap price and bought five VCDs. He also spent 1,000 yuan to buy 40 after debugging the equipment. I changed the advertisements on the roadside. I changed them to brand new Blue Mountain VCDs imported by our store to watch high-definition Xiangjiang movies and M-Country movies. Not long after the advertisements were hung up, regular customers came to visit. Master Bao, what's the matter? New movie today? Wang Debeo looked at the people coming and saw that it was Yin San who often came to watch movies. He smiled and said, that's right. This time there are 40 new movies and the resolution is several times higher than before. How about it? Do you want to experience it? Let me tell you, it is definitely the ultimate audiovisual enjoyment. Is it? Yin San expressed doubts. Wang Debeo glared, gave a thumbs up, and said loudly, Why are you lying to me? Do you know the Blue Mountain VCD? It's a VCD that just came on the market recently, the kind that can play movies. I bought five of them in one go. The sobriety is several times better than the previous video recorder. Yin San was surprised and said, Brother Bao, have you changed the equipment? Nonsense, Yin Sanchi said. Then I want to see if the gambler is available. I like Zhang Yin so much. Look at your potential. Wang Debeo said, Yes. Everything you want is available. However, the vote changed today, and I got three yuan. Ah? Brother Bao, you can't just raise the price. Wasn't it two yuan before? Yin San is not happy anymore. What do you know? Wang. Debeo raised his eyebrows and said, This is a brand new device. Can it be the same as the previous video recorder? Besides, once you go in and take a look, you will definitely feel that the money is well spent. Looking at Wang Debeo's confident look, Yin San hesitated for a moment, but his interest was aroused. He gritted his teeth took out three yuan from his wallet, and handed it to Wang Debeo. Okay now. Okay, let's go in and take a look. Wang Debeo said happily. Soon, the news that Wang Debeo had replaced the latest equipment and introduced 50 movies spread in the surrounding streets. People who came to watch the movies lined up in a long line. At night, Wang Debeo counted next. I actually earned 300 yuan. It was only half a day. I earned 300 yuan. If this is one day, shouldn't it be at least 450 to 500 yuan? After a month, won't all the money invested be back? Hiss. This is making money too fast. 
In the past, his video studio could only earn a maximum of 100 yuan a day. Now, after changing the equipment, it can reach more than 400 yuan. What a huge profit! In the next few days, Wang Defa's video hall is like going to a market. Some construction workers and ordinary merchants who cannot afford VCDs come to watch movies after get off work or at night. A week passed. Wang Defa found that he also earned 3,250 yuan. Wang Defa, who suddenly became rich, thought to himself, if you buy five more units, expand the scale. Wouldn't it be possible to earn more? In fact, when Wang Defa hesitated to expand the scale, many snack shops or video stores have discovered the business opportunities in this. They opened their own video studios one after another. In just one month, hundreds of new video parlors have been added to Yangqing. The spring rain in the video hall has boosted the sales of VCDs in Blue Mountain. One month after launch, Blue Mountain VCD actually sold 150,000 units in the mainland. Of course, this is all for later. Following this, VCD exploded in popularity in Hong Kong, mainland China, and Australia. It attracted a lot of people's attention. Although they couldn't guess how much it cost to make the Blue Mountain VCD, they thought the cost would not exceed 1,500 yuan. The selling price of Blue Mountain is 3,599 Hong Kong dollars. This is equivalent to a net profit of 2,000 Hong Kong dollars without selling one unit. One unit costs 2,000 Hong Kong dollars, 10,000 units, isn't that 20 million? Xiangjiang alone has a population of nearly 6 million, calculated based on an average of 3 people per household. Xiangjiang alone has a market of 2 million units. This excludes families living in hoarded houses and struggling to make ends meet. There is still a market size of at least 800,000 to 1 million units, which is equivalent to a market of 1.6 to 2 billion. This is equipment alone. What's more important is the content. A DVD worth 30 yuan costs less than 5 Hong Kong dollars. Six times profit. It's more profitable than building a house. Moreover, the disc can be purchased repeatedly and new content can be released every other segment. Many people are greedy for the benefits. Many wealthy people have extended their olive trees like Zhang Feng, hoping to become the agent of Blue Mountain VCD. The Xiangjiang market was divided. There are also the Gulf, Southeast Asia, island countries, South Korea, and other parts of the world. Yet letting them doomed them to disappointment. When the sales of Blue Mountain VCD became popular in Xiangjiang, Zhang Feng people had already arrived in Country M. Country M. New York. Because of the time difference, it was already late at night when the plane that Jiang Feng and his group took arrived in New York, Country M. After getting off the plane, there weren't many people talking around the airport. As the financial, political, economic, entertainment, and other center of M country. April weather. New York is not as warm as expected. There are not many people in the huge airport. Looking around, there are not many high-rise buildings around the airport. Instead, there are motels and fast food hotels. Zhang Feng is here this time. I didn't bring many people with me. Except for Yang Jiaming and several other bodyguards, the remaining ones are Liang Buatao, Shi Nancheng, and several other assistants. There were about 11 people in the group. Now the acquisition of HSBC is almost done on the stock market, reaching 41.77% of the shares. In terms of shares, Zhang Feng is already the largest shareholder of HSBC. Certainly. All of these. Zhang Feng spent a lot of money, a total of 14.7 billion US dollars. This directly caused Zhang Feng's personal treasury to shrink by one third. At present, HSBC does not yet know that Zhang Feng owns 41.77 shares. After all, these shares are currently scattered among three fund companies, all registered in the Cayman Islands. The real bosses behind these three funds are not clear. I would never have thought of the relationship between these three fund companies. I simply think that the three funds are optimistic about HSBC. After all, there have been similar cases before. Zhang Feng was not in a hurry to show his hand to HSBC. The first task is to come to Country M to promote VCD. VCD technology is not difficult. Zhang Feng must take advantage of the gap between other forces to sell as many VCDs as possible. Only in this way can the benefits be maximized. Zhang Feng and his group picked up their luggage 
and stopped a few taxis on the side of the road. Looking out the window at the bright lights and bustling New York, Zhang Feng nodded slightly. Don't think of Xiangjiang as the financial center of the East. Urban construction is still a bit behind New York. At least it lacks style. Perhaps only the island nation of Tokyo or the demonic capital back in the mainland can rival it. The group finally stayed at the Hilton Hotel in the city center. Lying on the bed, Jiang Feng lazily turned on the TV and watched the news. Listen to the ghosts talking in bird language. Have to say, Country M has many more lobby shows and entertainment programs than Hong Kong. After watching the news for a while, Jiang Feng found it boring and stopped watching it. Turn off the TV. Lying in bed, thinking about how to open the market in Country M. I talked about this thought for more than half an hour. Finally found some clue next day. Jiang Feng woke up from his sweet dream, stretched, glanced at the bright sunshine outside the window, and then remembered that he was in Country M. Get up, brush your teeth, wash your face. After changing clothes, under the introduction of the staff, Jiang Feng came to the breakfast room, had breakfast with Liang Buotao, Shen Nansheng, Yang Jiaming and others. Finish breakfast. Zhang Feng said to Sher Nansheng, Mr. Sher, follow the plan and talk to a big-name celebrity to endorse our VCD products. Sher Nansheng nodded, okay. In addition, Buxin, you are familiar with Country M. When you released the news, you said that we were looking for a VCD agent in Country M. Okay, boss. Liang. Buotao nodded and responded, okay, let's take action. Liang Buotao and Sher Nansheng each left with their people. Finished the meal. Two people were left waiting for news about Liang Buotao and Shen Nansheng. Zhang Feng planned to go shopping in New York with Yang Jiaming, Wang Defa, Hu Xiaojun, and Chen Liangping. Take a look at what's happening in the world's largest city. Walking on the streets of Country M, looking at the tall buildings all around and the large number of white people on the street. He looked hurried and busy. But one thing is true. Discrimination in Country M is very serious. White people despise black people, and then black people despise Asians. This may be the chain of contempt of Country M. No, there are only a few people with tattoos. After seeing him, I wanted to come up and cause trouble. However, after seeing the bodyguards behind Jiang Feng, the three black men, who looked like gangsters at first sight, became intimidated. Although they like to bully Asians. But who can bring so many bodyguards to him, who is an ordinary person? You must know that Country M is a paradise for the rich and a hell for the poor. As long as there is money, it's really easy to kill them. Just throw out a few million dollars. There will be many black forces looking for them. Thousands of people still die in New York every year. So, they usually don't mess with powerful people and wandered around the streets for a while. Zhang Feng came to a park to rest. I saw an Asian woman holding a drawing board and seemed to be drawing maybe seeing someone of the same species. Slightly favorable. Zhang Feng sat down next to her. I looked at her paintings. The woman was slightly surprised by Jiang Feng's sudden appearance. He smiled at Jiang Feng, said nothing, and continued to draw with concentration. Jiang Feng didn't say anything, quietly watching the woman draw a sketch. Have to say, the woman's painting skills are very exquisite. It looks very three-dimensional. In his previous life, when Jiang Feng was studying, he also learned sketching. However, I was just too playful at the time and didn't learn much. But he could still see that the young, beautiful, fair-skinned Asian woman in front of him was very skilled at drawing buildings and human expressions. If you add some oil paint or colored ink, it will be almost the same as what was photographed by the camera. Of course, he was exaggerating. But it can reflect the woman's painting skills from the side. The woman took a while stopped writing, and looked carefully at the painting in front of her. She seemed very satisfied. Under Zhang Feng's gaze, the woman put away the pen and drawing board and packed them. Why don't you draw? Zhang Feng said casually when he saw the woman put away the drawing board. Although his art skills were poor, he had studied art after all. He saw that the cake was not finished, and the two trees on the road were bare and no branches were painted. Hearing this, the woman's eyes were slightly surprised. And then she said in somewhat lame Mandarin, No more painting. I should go back to school. South Korean? Zhang Feng said in shock. The woman nodded slightly. At this time, Yang Jiaming whispered in his ear, 
Boss, there is something wrong. Um. Jiang Feng was about to ask when he saw two Asian men in suits walking over. They were stopped by Wang Defa and others. The two Asian men who were stopped spoke bird language, which Jiang Feng could not understand. Can you ask your people to let my friend go? While Jiang Feng was wondering, the woman beside him said, Your friend? Jiang Feng asked, Um. They were bodyguards assigned to me by my father. The woman's demeanor was calm, and she spoke unhurriedly. It was obvious that her birth was not simple. In fact, if a family can have bodyguards, it is better to arrange two bodyguards for their children. How can the family be simple? Waved his hand, Jiang Feng said, let go them. Wang Defa and Chen Xiaojun, who heard Jiang Feng's words, released their hands and let go. The two South Koreans walked quickly to the woman and respectfully said a lot of words that Jiang Feng didn't understand. Language. Sorry, I have to leave. The woman stood up and nodded towards Jiang Feng. Then, escorted by two bodyguards, she slowly left. Jiang Feng shook his head. He didn't pay much attention. I thought he was from Xia, but he turned out to be a pretty girl. But, having said that, when she came back, this beautiful lady had excellent appearance and temperament. She had the manners of a lady. Phew. Jiang Feng stood up and exhaled. He said to Yang Jiaming and others, Let's go. Here, Jiang Feng left the park. Over there, two bodyguards were saying to the woman, Miss, that man's identity is not simple. It would be better for you to have less contact with him. Of course it's not simple. How can it be simple to carry four bodyguards with you when you go out? The young man's accent sounds like he's from Dashia. Is he from an ancient family in Dashia? He spent the whole morning wandering around the city center of New York. Afterwards, Jiang Feng returned to arrive at the hotel. Rest. Wait for news from Shernansheng and Liang Buotao. By 3 p.m., Liang Buotao is back. Boss, the news has been released. Several families are interested and want to talk to you about agency matters. Um, Jiang Feng nodded, not surprised. The potential of VCD is not just to play movies and TV series. It can also be said to play music, especially MVs. Country M is the world's pop music scene. The market for music is not as big as that of movies. The market is low. Moreover, Country M attaches great importance to copyright, so VCD is destined to be a hot commodity. Anyone who is not mentally retarded can see how huge the profits are. After drinking two glasses, Zhang Feng smiled calmly. What families are there? Currently interested are the Rockefellers, the Adams family, the McCormick family, and the Zhao family. Zhao family? Zhang Feng was stunned. Zhang Feng had heard of the famous Rockefeller family a long time ago. Although the Adams family has kept a low profile in the past 10 years, as the main supporter of the Boston Consortium, it is not uncommon in the upper class. C. The McCormick family is a wealthy family in the central and western regions of Country M. They represent the Chicago Consortium. Their main businesses are banks, trusts, and department stores. Zhang Feng has heard of all three. Not only these three, but basically he knew a lot about the top families in Country M before he came here. But what is this Xiao family? It sounds like the Xia family. Seeing Jiang Feng's confused look, he didn't seem to know much about this Xiao family. So, Liang Buotao explained, Boss, the Xiao family is mainly engaged in the shipping industry. They are the Chinese shipping king in the United States. Their company's business covers the world, and Foremost Group is a company under their family. Very influential here in M country. Oh, Jiang Feng became interested. There is discrimination against yellow skin in Country M after all. Since the Zhao family can become the Chinese shipping king in Country M, it seems that they are a family with extraordinary abilities. Please tell me the detailed information about the Zhao family. Ok. Liang Bo said eloquently, The current patriarch of the Zhao family is Zhao Xicheng. He went to study in the United States a few years ago. After graduation, he stayed in Country M and just started running a boat. Later, he participated in the assessment in the Bay Area and after accumulating a certain amount of capital, he founded the Foremost Shipping Company. Relying on the connections accumulated from his early days of running boats, he became the Chinese shipping king in Country M in the 1960s and 1970s. He had an extraordinary relationship with Mr. Bao from Xiangjiang. It is said that Mr. Bao helped him in the early years. 
By the way, he also invested in the mainland's shipping industry, upgrading mainland's shipbuilding industry technology. Plus, he has five daughters. Three of them are married to wealthy businessmen in Country M. The eldest daughter is Zhao Xiaolan, a top student at Harvard University. It is said that she graduated with straight A's and works at Citibank. The most surprising thing is that he now works in the White House and is currently the Deputy Secretary of the Department of Transportation. Deputy Minister? Zhang Feng was moved. A Xiaoman serves as Deputy Minister in Country M, and he is also an important Ministry of Transportation. When did the people of the M country treat the Xia people so well? Yes, Liang Buxin said. It is said that he was favored by Presidents Negan and Bush. Zhang Feng nodded. What about the other one? The youngest daughter is called Zhao Anji. She was born in 1973. She is still studying at Harvard University. She sounds to be extremely talented, not unlike his elder sister. After graduating from high school, he worked as an intern on Capitol Hill and the White House. Zhang Feng didn't expect that the Xiaoyi family could prosper in the political circles of Country M. If it were purely in the business world, Zhang Feng would not be surprised. After all, there are many people who have prospered in the business world of Country M. However, I am afraid that there are only a handful of Xia families that can mix well in both political and business circles. Do you like this video? Let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my future uploads.